happening right now moss has just left the building i repeat mystic moss has left the building and has decided to fuss with the, oh i'm moving like I'm, I'm in a spaceship he's actually fixing the camera right now what do you think moss it's fine <laughs> uh. So, we had Thanksgiving at our home. It was very nice. We had our family with us. It was fantastic. It was wonderful, wonderful. Our camera got knocked into twice. One time got fixed very, very quickly. And uh, the second time. We don't know who did it. It was like, Arr! and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> right before we went live, I'm like, why is the camera? Arr! Now, we are thinking, why? Well, I, I, this is my thing because Jesse says she doesn't know who did it. I don't know who did it. Yeah, I, I, I know two people who went upstairs. Someone but snuck into our room. This room. And hit the camera and was like. But they didn't use this room. It didn't tell us. Somehow they got in this room and it must have. I don't know how it happened, but the thing was so cockeyed. So there's, it's like Clue. Who did it? We have to, we I have to narrow them. it down. They'll, they'll tell me. Who the fuck knocked <laughs> into our camera? Anyway, here we are. We're live. We're fooking off on a Friday. Tomorrow, there's an event. It's a Triller Fight Club that's going down. And uh, this Triller Fight Club, I wasn't going to have any interest in. I was going to completely dismiss. And we, we we asked the community multiple times, should we do it? Should we do it? And, and, and majority of people was like, listen, we just want to hang out. We just want to hang with the boys. Hang with the boys. Well, that's nice. What'd you do? I don't ew, know. Ew, stop it. <laughs> ew. I burnt my finger and it must have blistered. And it's now it's peels. peeling up. <laughs> ew, it's coming off his finger. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just falling apart. Anyway, um, yeah, and people are like, we just want to hang out on Saturday, right? There's no UFC event. Let's just hang with the boys on Saturday. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. Let's just, let's just go live. And just hang out. And then I was like going down the Triller rabbit hole. And Rampage Jats, Jackson, Shannon Briggs. And um, I'm like really into it now. <laughs> I'm like, it's crazy. I was showing my pop and my pop was laughing and having a little fun with it. 
I'm like, wait, what's going on here? What's what, like, why am I interested in this? And you have Frank Mir. Who else is fighting on this thing? Frank Mir is fighting uh, Club Pulev. Is that no Trilla <laughs> Club <Yeah>. Pulev? <laughs> it's Trilla Fight Club. Pulev versus. Uh, Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, Pulev versus Mir, right? So Frank Mir's fighting a guy named Pulev. I have no idea who that is. Who the fuck is that Club guy? Pulev. Club Pulev, yeah. Who the fuck is that guy? But uh, yeah, shout out to Club Pulev. Uh, Mike Perry's on the card, and uh, Platinum Mike Perry is going to get his ass kicked. I looked at the guy he's Did you fighting. Did see the weigh-ins? Sakio Bika. And I'm looking at Sakio Bika, and I'm like... Who the fuck is that guy? I know, no idea, but, but he looks scary. So Mike Perry's probably going to get his ass whooped. Uh, Matt Mitrione's on this thing. All right. You know, like there's, it's MMA versus boxing. And they're doing it inside a triangular, uh, I want to say ring. Can I say ring? The, well, we call BKFC the squared circle. So why don't you call it the tri-circle? No, no, the triangular the square. Tri the tri-square. Because there's a square and the circles. The, the tri-square. Yeah, the tri-square. I, well, I don't know if it's going to be in a square. We don't know what the oh, hell so is. is. It, it might wait, all be a triangle. Is it just a triangle? It might. It's a triad. It's a triad okay, combat. Okay, so then just call it the triad. So this triad and Triller getting sued by, by BYB, and rightfully so, because it's literally exactly their, their idea. Like, they're right. taking BYB's idea, and they're running with it. But they can get Metallica, so it's cooler, you know? So they completely rip off BYB, and they're still going forward with this. Mm-hmm. Getting sued, the whole deal, like we put enough money into this, enough marketing, we're going all in on this triad situation. And I have to be honest with you, I mean, maybe I feel, I'm watching it. Well, it's, of course you're watching it. It's 20 it. bucks. I don't want to pay the 20 bucks, so maybe we'll figure out some other way to watch it. But I mean, it's, it's on Fight TV, and um, it gives us something to do. I'm going to watch. I'm kind of interested. Briggs versus Rampage Jackson. Jackson, I wish they were fighting. I thought they were fighting. They're not. They're the coaches. It's team MMA and team boxing. Mm -hmm. But the back and forth between Rampage Jackson and Briggs is selling me. Mm -hmm. These guys are hilarious on the mic. They're so free, especially Briggs. Jen and Briggs is, is just completely hilarious. So I'm in. I'm fucking in. I don't know why. I think I like Triller. In some weird way, it's a guilty pleasure, and they got Fook and Metallica. They got, they got Metallica, guys. Now, listen, Metallica's best days are behind them, mm -hmm. but Metallica's going to be there, Jess. Right? I see that one girl say Metallica was cool before the lowdown, low and that's the consensus. You know, I agree. Actually, people are saying- But I thought you liked Metallica no matter what. I, I Listen- when I, when I was a kid, Metallica was Metallica. I took my mom to see Metallica. I, I, I'm obsessed. I've seen so many freaking Metallica concerts. Technically, they sold out at the Black Album. Mm. Technically. They made the Black Album and everyone lost their shit. They went mainstream. They went pop. Well, not pop. They just went mainstream. And, you know, people didn't like them. I don't give a fuck. They made money. Like, who gives a shit? Like, I, I don't care. Just play play Injustice for All. Play Master of Puppets. Play all that shit. Battery. And when, when I go to a That's concert, so just give me the old shit. And they're going to give us the old shit. Yeah. But, but Metallica is going to be at this event. Mm -hmm. Triller, I don't know where they're coming up with the money for this. I don't know how they're doing this. But they're pulling Metallica. Metallica's best days are behind them. But they're nah. still fucking. They're still the greatest band of all time. Mm -hmm. They are. Yeah. They're pioneers. They're trendsetters. These guys... These old men now, it's just, you get them on a stage, you're like, that's fucking Metallica, man. You know? Only they all have gray hair now. And it's not like Neo or whatever the hell these other, like, hip-hop artists are that I don't have no idea. They're just fucking saying nursery rhymes into a mic with a lot of fucking bright colors behind them. I'd rather watch the old guys just shred on some strings. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So why would, I, why would I turn down the one that has Metallica on when all the other ones has, like, I don't know, Carney B or whatever the fuck these people. I have no idea who these are. Oh, okay. the, the, the one who talks about her pussy. Yeah, I don't and... know. The, 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 sm the smelly pussy girl. I don't know that girl. <laughs> Why would I tune into that when they got Metallica tomorrow? So there's a lot of things that make me want to watch this. Yeah. And I do want to see Mike Perry box, even though he's going to lose. Yeah. I don't think one MMA person is going to win. In fact, I'm looking at uh, this card. I don't see one MMA. Maybe none. I don't even think Frank Mir is going to win. Let's say out of all the MMA fighters... Which one has the highest chance to win? We'll talk about that in a second. 
Let me start off this clock over here because we are playing Fuka Friday. Yes, sir. The clock has begun. Yes, Let's see what are. we got. We got some donations coming Thank in over you. here. We got a new member named Jamie. Let's go. It took 15 points off the hit book. Jamie. Shout out to Jamie. Shout out, my friend, to Jamie. Wonderful, wonderful. We got the glove touch saying. Week 44. Put me on the board. Is Rampage versus Spriggs on the card or not? This shit is so confusing. No. No. And I'm confused too. Up until today, we thought I thought they were fighting. They're Coach not. Coach Rampage versus Jackson. What? I mean, just kidding. <laughs> Coach Rampage versus Jackson? <laughs> I just read Coach Rampage versus Jackson on okay. the thing. That's what it says. Did I write that? Yeah. <laughs> Coach Ram <laughs> Coach Rampage versus Jackson please, Shannon Briggs. Can you please fix that? Since um, uh, I actually don't have the computer. I am right so now. fucking stressed. It's, don't worry like, about it. You it's have okay. no idea. All right, well, we're gonna leave that there. It's on a description. Coach we'll Rampage versus Jackson <laughs> Shannon Briggs. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave it. Who cares? That's in the description of our video. You want to see? Check this out. Uh, Coach Rampage versus Jackson. Dude, I, I am so. My head is in the clouds in the worst way. We got family here. Uh, Thanksgiving was yesterday. We had our leftovers, delish. And I hope everyone had a great uh, Thanksgiving. Even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great dinner last night. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to put shit together. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm I'm literally in the clouds. <laughs> By the way, uh, all right. So let's put let's put glove touch. He's uh, he's in the game. And JBM, you you ready, pup? You ready, puppy? What did you just call me? Let's, let's put you in there. A pup? Jess is in. The pup is in. Oh, okay. Where did well, you wonderful. get pup from? We're putting that puppy in. Uh, all right. So JB, JBM's in as well. And what I decided to do is this. Mm. The points game stays as this, right? $25 to spin a Ruski. You spin, the points go over to your player right next to your name over there. The person with the most points wins. Very simple. You become the new stream boss. Bang, you get a spin as well. But I feel that people that donate a lot of money, it's just not fair, right? So... Turkey twerk and up. No matter what you donate, you get those points. How about that? How about that, Jesse? I like that, Ma. So turkey twerk and up. So say if you drop the turkey twerk to 69 points, it automatically goes to the person. Because I don't want them to get CM punked. You know? I don't want that. I don't want them to get gunned with the nine. I don't want any of that stuff. You know, you have a chance to get the seven, but let's give them the guaranteed points. So 69 and up in the donations. So turkey twerk and up. You are guaranteed those points. And H is our cu current champion. And H is the current turkey twerk champion. Check that out. Look at that. The knitter is the turkey twerk champ. So we'll see if she holds on to the belt for another week. We have another donation over here. Wonderful, wonderful. Tropic Tom. Mike Perry should just have a trainer break his nose before the fight to get it out of the way. <laughs> That's a good point. He really should. I mean, he breaks his nose practically every fight anyway, so. I'm with you on that, Tropic Tom. Would you like to get in the game? Let us know in the chat. That was wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, what do you think about Mike Perry boxing tomorrow? Me? Oh, I thought you were asking them. What do I think? I think it's awesome because, well, I actually, I kind of do and I don't. Here's why. Mike Perry, in my humble opinion, maybe, maybe it's time to pursue other endeavors that aren't combat sports, right? You think he's taken a little bit too much damage at this point, and he hasn't been on a very good run in MMA uh, as of late. Um, so, to me, maybe, you know, take a step back for a minute. But at the same time, then there's that fan part of me that really likes Mike Perry that's like, okay, this is going to be really cool. Is this the guy Mike Perry's fighting? I saw another guy on the stage. Sakio Bika. Wait, I don't think he's fighting this guy. I saw another guy there. Help me out if that's the guy he's fighting. Saki Obika. What a name, huh? Saki Obika. That's what you have in the description. Well, listen, I just copied ta uh, Tapology. I have no oh. idea. I, I saw on a stage someone else. But Did you? Is that who he's fighting? Is, can anyone? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Perry should go to, uh, out in BKFC. He's going there. He signed with BKFC. So that's next. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Bare Knuckle is the last resort for poor grapplers in MMA. Well, yeah, if you want to make a big payday. And this is not Bare Knuckle. This is regular boxing. And... This is Frank Mir's biggest payday. He's the main event. Now, I Frank Mir headlining this card feels kind of I don't know. I don't think I don't know if that's selling it. I feel like Metallica is selling it. I feel even more Mike Perry's int more interesting than the Frank Mir fight. 
if Rampage Jackson and Briggs are just yapping on the mic, that's more interesting to me. What do you think about Frank Mir and Pulev? Uh, I I don't really think much about this one honestly, because I've I, I you know I like Frank Mir, but I'm not like the biggest you know I'm not like oh, Frank Mir's fighting oh you know. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to turn it off after Mike Perry, to be honest. Yeah, I think Mike Perry is who I'm there for, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch Mike Perry fight, and then I'm good. That's my main event right there. So, um, yeah, anyway, if you're just jumping in, we're talking about Triller fight, fight Club. I saw Tropic Tom has put himself in. Put him put him in the books. So that's what we're going to do, Tropic Tom. Welcome to the game, baby. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, we're going to take baby Ellie out. Wonderful, wonderful. That girl says it's an odd jumble of entertainment. Yeah, 100%. But... I, like you said, it's it's of entertainment, so it's it's fun to watch. Ellie Tropic Tom. Oh my God, what the fuck, man! <laughs> I'm retiring. That's it. I'm done. I am so done with the show. Time to sell the show. Who wants to buy it for three million you, dollars? Go on ones. I am so out of it. It's I feel right. like we all have our, a zombie our days. All right. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there we go. So there's Tropic Tom. Tropic Tom's in the game. JBM Glove Touch, uh, Mystic Moss, and Ant and the Knitter. Yes, sir. So there's our players on Fuka Friday. Good luck to everyone playing. The winner of the game, most points, gets something from the MMA holes dot com. So good luck on a Fuka Friday. Johnny Dean says no fans uh, said about Mir since like 2004. Yeah, I mean. Hey, Frank Mir is headlining the card. I mean, some people are, they still like Frank Mir. Like, I, I know that when we have Frank Mir fights um, in the past, there are people who have come into the chat specifically for Frank Mir. So. I mean, listen. Who who's those, who are those people? <laughs> you know, there's that that few and far between. But listen, I just don't think that that should be the. Honestly, if I was this organization, I would have put Mike Perry as the main event. Yeah, man, put platinum, put platinum there. Listen, Frank Mir. But and Mir is the and, bigger name. And and give credit to Frank Mir for um you know getting better at boxing. The guy has already done some legendary things in the UFC as, and uh, he went over to Bellator. He's a, he's a good commentator. He's a good guy, right, Frank Mir? But, um, and congratulations for getting paid. He fought in Triller before. But, um, yeah, as a main event, I, I, I don't know. I just, it just didn't, like, I could literally turn off the pay-per-view at that point. But, of course, we'll go through it with you guys, and we'll make fun of everything. But, yeah, Frank Mir's fighting. And let's look at this Pulev guy. Pulev. 28-2. and two. Wow. Oof. He's a got face some face. only a mother could love. Pulev. What does that mean, Jess? Not quite sure what that means. You've never heard that line before. Mm. Oh, he fought Anthony Joshua. I know. I didn't even know that. In 2020, he fought Anthony Joshua. Lost overhand right in the ninth round. So apparently, I did see that highlight. Uh, okay. And then before that, he was on a four-fight win streak. Lost to Vladimir Klitschko. That name sticks out. Klitschko. So the two guys he lost to were, you know, respected boxers. Oh man, he's gonna kill Frank Mir. He's going to kill him. How big is he? 6'4". He is 40 years old. That's something to look out for. But if Frank Mir is how old? Isn't Frank Mir in his 40s? Let's see who Frankie boy is. He's 42. Oh, man. He's in great shape, Frank. He's, he's actually in pretty decent shape. Mm. Oh, God. This is Enclosure Cage. <laughs> how about this? How many rounds is this? Hold on a second. It says Enclosure Cage. Do you think, like, last second they're going to they're gonna pull the rug? A and- triangle cage? No, do you think they're gonna pull the rug at and 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 no quiver and and change? Maybe the shape of it? just fooked up. Curious. Um, how many rounds is the Frank Mir fight? Do you know? I don't know. Custom rules about it says. I have no idea. No freaking it says idea. Custom rules. You didn't pick a story on it. Well, no, I have some. <laughs> no, I do have some stuff on um the whole triad thing, but it doesn't say anything about how many you know like go into detail about their fights or anything like that. Yeah, I don't. Honestly, I gotta be. I be, be completely. You know, transparent with you right now. Um, all my investigation on this triad trailer stuff was literally 45 minutes before we went live. And then I found the ca- crooked camera. I was like, oh, no. But um, I'm going to watch it because I like a shit show. And Triller is very good at delivering that. Now, I'm curious. I'm assuming they're going to have more musical acts on top of Metallica. So would this be? Do you think it's going to be like another concert again? Well, the and last with a little fighting sprinkled in. Yeah, the last one was, um, it had less musical acts than the first time with Jake Paul. But even the last one had a lot of musical acts. Not as much. The Jake Paul one was out of control. Like, that was crazy. Yeah. But this one, the the previous one, you know, it had some, but it was, the fighting was more the main 
like um, the focus, the main focus with that. I'm curious now with this, since Metallica is going to be there, does that mean it's going to be a bunch of rock bands, which is kind of cool? Or maybe they're going to do like different um, reggae genres and stuff and then just top it off with some Metallica. I don't Ragu? Know. Ragu. Wonderful, wonderful. I honestly just care about Briggs and Rampage because that shit is hella rise. Put Kendall in. Put Kendall in. All right, Kendall, if you're in the chat, you will enter the game. Thank you, Glove Touch. Appreciate yes, that. Yes, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. If Kendall is in the chat, we will put her in. Glove Touch and Kendall. May, uh, let's see, my dad went to the store for milk like 13 years ago. Metallica featuring <laughs> lead singer Justin Bieber. Though I, that would be rough, right? Uh, I would not like Metallica in my music salad. Oh, I see Kendall in the chat. Okay. Shame. You know what? Shame, Since, Colby. Uh, this is what I'm going to do right now, Jesse. This is what I'm going to do. Since Two Joints has been cracking some of the worst jokes I've ever seen in my life, I must remove him I know. from this thing. I mean, he is his jokes are... <laughs> They're getting like w like worse and worse every... It's like Brendan Schaub. Show. It's like a Canadian <laughs> Brendan Schaub in the chat. I'm like, where is this guy getting his material? All right, here we go. Let's give uh, Two Joints. Sorry, we, well, for now at least. You, you might still be in the game. And let's throw Kendall in the game like so. And there we go. Away we go. Okay. Fook Metallica could get Mudvayne. I'd be down with that. I, I, has, is Mudvayne still doing anything? I'm curious. They're all right. Like Mudvayne. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate on that. So we got two more spots available if you'd like to get in the game. Uh, the Mike H spot and the Gavin Macias. Right now, no spins. 148 remaining in the game. And it's $25 to spin. If you turkey twerking up, every donation from turkey twerking up will go. Those points will be guaranteed to the person. So no spin. Just points straight into the pocket for the person you put it for. And that's you, wonderful, wonderful. Can you please wonderful. hand me the Carmex? I don't know what that is. What the, is it? The Carmex. The, uh, the, the chapstick? Yeah. Why don't you just say chapstick? Because you hate when I say Carmex. Actually, this the other Carmex. The one that has the menthol in it. Do you know that I put chapstick, like I literally put your chapstick on there uh, on a regular, I, and then I usually find it on the floor it's uh, or, or in front of you. No, not that one. I want the one with the menthol in it. But this is yours. But this doesn't have and menthol And it's like not it. even used. Can I have the Carmex? <laughs> God help me. Thank okay. you. All right. So we got two uh, spots available. If you're jumping in, we're talking about Triller. I want to know your thoughts on Triller over here. What, do you, what are you thinking here? Is this going to be like a complete shit show? Is it even worth it? What are we doing? What are we fucking doing here? Is this, is this a night that we're going to just like want to forget quickly and swiftly? Uh, let's see. Uh, I love Metallica, but I'm embarrassed uh, for them at this event. All their promotional appearances are cringe. Says so about better. Okay, so what do you mean by... What does that even mean? Like, so as of late... Like in their later stage, latter stages, like anytime they show up, it's like, ah, cringe. It's not the old Metallica. Here's how I look at Metallica. Let's see. How, how old is Hetfield? And McCoy? He <laughs> is that Hatfield? <laughs> see what I do? Oh, good job, Moss. You actually know about that. Age. You're, you're, that was a two joints joke. That's not exactly. <laughs> no, that was a mom joke. Don't pair my mom two joints jokes, jokes with two joints jokes. Okay. 58 years old James Hatfield is 58 years old so if you think their appearances are cringe think about this they're still fucking appearing on at events that are quote unquote trendy and hip like Triller's got that you know that young vibe with the hot artists coming in there and shit I don't fucking know what's going on well they'll probably still have hot artists coming in and here he is at 58 years old doing it I look at it like this they're old men just still trying to play their songs. And, and if you listen to their, their, their live performances, yes, they're not nearly as good as they were when they were in their 30s and 20s. I mean, they're not even close. Yeah. But I got to be, be honest with you. I still get nostalgic. I still like it. I still enjoy it. It's Metallica. Mm -hmm. You know, even if they're playing a little shittier, I'm into it. These, this, is, this is my guys. I ride with them until if they're 100 years old and they card them on stage, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if Miley Cyrus is singing with them. I don't, it's still fucking Metallica. <laughs> now, I'm sick of hearing Enter Sandman. Can we play a different fucking song? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you got a whole fucking... You legit have a whole catalog of music 
Why do you, why are we playing Enter Sandman? Um, what are we doing here? Does anyone even uh, like that song anymore? No one gets pumped just up trying for trying to ease people into it, I guess. Enter Sandman. There's so many better songs to play. Why are we playing Enter Sandman? Why are we playing Nothing Else Matters? What are we doing? And nothing else matters. Like, what are we doing? What are we like? Who is like, fuck? Yes! They're playing Enter, Enter Sandman! Yes! The last time Enter Sandman was cool was when Mariano Rivera walked out to Enter Sandman on the Yankees. I'm not even a Yankee fan. I yeah. fucking can't stand the Yankees. But when Mariano Rivera, who is their closer, yeah. would walk out to Enter Sandman, yeah. the place would go bonkers. I would want to slit my throat because I couldn't stand the Yankees. And he would just close out the game. But you that's, still enjoy that. That's the last time it was cool. He's retired. The Metallica band should retire Enter Sandman. Sanitarium, play that fucking song. Please, do me a favor. Play Sanitarium. Play Battery. Play Damage Incorporated. And if you're gonna... I don't fucking know. I, 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 I don't, don't get me started with this. But anyway, it's still Metallica. And what, what are they gonna play, Jesse? Guess. Uh, Enter Sandman. Enter Sandman. You know they're gonna play that. <laughs> you know they're gonna play it. Dude, stop! No! No, no, no! Oh, no! Even one, which is one of the most played out songs ever, it's still a badass song, right? One's played. One's really, really fucking played out, but it's still a great song. So I can still, I can still tolerate it. But Enter Sandman, what are we doing? Was it ever really good? No. The answer is no. All right. Anyway, now, now I got that off my chest. <laughs> Apparently he really cared about what Metallica was playing tomorrow night. Uh, I care. If they come out playing Damage Incorporated... I, I would I will ejaculate on air. I will tomorrow if, if Metallica gets on stage and plays fucking Damage Incorporated, I will take this microphone and bash it over my head like a fucking lunatic. And then shove it up my ass. I'd be so excited. Mm. But that's probably not gonna happen, so you, you won't get to see that. But tune in tomorrow, make sure you're subscribed and uh, find out if I shove my microphone on my ass. Uh play sweet emotions says Big Fat Poly Teacher says Moss. If you ejaculate on air, I'm un unsubbing, bro. Well, then I am Jack. I mean, I'm Moss, definitely. Please ejaculate on I air. I will ejaculate on air. Uh, but Moss is a big hog. <laughs> Moss, do you have a big hog? <laughs> Frantic TikTok. <laughs> yeah, what happened with that album, Sean? I don't know. I have no idea. Listen, they put out some stinkers as of late. They, there's no doubt about it. I can't, I can't argue it. I cannot argue it, but they're still Metallica. Mm. Frantic TikTok. You ever hear that song? It's like, what are you doing? With <laughs> what is up with that song? I have no idea what they were thinking, but they're old. Mm -hmm. You know, they are old. Okay. Anyway. All right. So first news story of the night, Moss. Uh, according to MMA Mania, Rampage, Ramp <laughs> Rampage Jackson and Shannon Briggs got physical during the Triller stare downs. Okay, so uh, did you watch any of this stuff? I didn't watch the stare. Oh, no, I did. I did watch the Mike Perry one. I did watch that one. Did anything happen with that? Yeah, Mike Perry shoved his or grabbed his opponent. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we got here. Is nothing. Look at the ring girl checking out Mike Perry. Yeah, these ring girls. They don't. They don't give a fuck. Why does they play? And there's nothing no, to play. that's the screenshot. You gotta. How do I get there? This? Uh, well, it's a different link, but maybe you can find the same thing. Rampage is old. He's he's got his gad out. It's Trujillo. Is it Trujillo or Trujillo? I thought it was Trujillo. Trujillo. Yeah, I don't know. I never knew how to say his name properly, but he's a pretty badass. I gotta say, he's a pretty damn good bassist. This guy. Yeah. Um, he's actually better than Jason Newstead, and Jason Newstead was a better. All right. Awesome. Jason Newstead. Let me just say, hey, listen, Metallica's tomorrow. I get to talk Metallica. Uh, when do I get a chance to do that? Jason Newstead was a great showman. A great showman. And Trujillo is a good showman, too. He just stands with his legs really far apart and he plays his fingers, which I like. But Jason Newstead was just cool to look at. Yeah. As in Trujillo was just a, it's just a fucking badass. Wasn't Trujillo part of um, Ozzy's group yeah, played for with a long Ozzy. time? Yeah, and Cliff. Then they, and then they took him over. Yeah, someone in the chat said Cliff, you know, Cliff Burton was the best. But Trujillo is pretty damn good. I mean, or Trujello, is that how you say no. his name? <laughs> no. Okay. Stop reading the chat, Moss. Is that it, Trujello? <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah. 
So where's they have no video? I just still shots. No, but you shouldn't show the video anyway. But I can um, show this. There's pictures here. So this Mike Perry grabs his opponent. That's Mike Perry. Yeah, no, it's not. That's, no, 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 no. It's not Mike Perry. Sorry, <laughs> that's Brian Vera that's other, and Derek Campos. That's a, that's another white trash guy. <laughs> no, this isn't it. But here we go. Rampage Jackson shoves his opponent. But oh, okay, first they're not is fighting. Is it his opponent? No. Like, why are they facing off? It's I don't understand. It's very confusing. They're coaches. Let me read this. They're here. coaches. They're they're just coaches. But they're All they're right. selling it more than anyone else. So it says Triller held its official weigh-ins for this Saturday night's Triad Combat Hybrid Combat Sports event, pitting boxers against MMA fighters in mixed rules bouts. The coaches for each side, former boxing champion Shannon Briggs and ex UFC title holder Quentin Jackson, were also on stage during today's scale tipping festivities. A couple of the weigh-in stare downs Thank got you. physical this afternoon. Hold on a second, Jesse. We got Kendall's been a member for five fucking months. Let's go, Kendall. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. That's Shannon Briggs, by the way. Uh, Tropic Tom, let's go, champ. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go, champ. Tropic Tom. Metallica is using this <laughs> appearance to launch their Christmas album, and Just Ice for All. <laughs> That's some two joints <laughs> level gloomy <laughs> there. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's fucking funny, though. It's cheesy, it's corny, but it's wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And Just Ice. You like that, no? Yes. No? Yes, I said yes. Okay. Yes, I like that. Thank you. Yes. Look at that. All right. Clever. Uh... All right, a couple of weigh-in stare-downs got physical this afternoon in Dallas, Texas, home of this weekend's big shebang, including the face-off between Brian Vera and Derek Campos, who collided in welterweight action. Their pushing and shoving leg to a physical altercation between Briggs and Jackson with Rampage doing most of the pushing. The cannon is expected to fight Rampage at some point in early 2022. So I guess that's what the whole face-off was for. It's more like just to promote a fight in the beginning of next year. Yeah, the, the the host asked if they were going to fight. Is it true? Are they going to fight? Blah, blah, blah. And it seems like that's what they're alluding to. Yeah. Briggs is, what, 49 years old? And I don't know how old Rampage is. But Rampage, he looks less like a whale. He looks like he got himself in a little bit better shape. So, I mean. I don't, I, listen, this is cringe. This is, I mean, but these guys are getting, I like seeing these guys, these MMA fighters that are done get paid. I, I'm kind of down with it. Yeah. And Shannon Briggs, is, I tell you what, I might root for him. I, I always want to root for the MMA guy, but I think Shannon Briggs is hilarious, man. Look at the ring girl's face over here. She just, she just has She's her head down. She's checking out her own tits. She's just like, oh, my God. Those are nice. And this guy over here in the corner is like, what are you doing, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Look at his face. What are you doing over there, man? The chick is just uh, looking down. Why does he have to sound like that? What are you doing, what are you doing over there, man? <laughs> I don't know. Get the switch. Hmm. What? <laughs> what did you just say? I don't know. I went like little Michael Jackson's dad. What was his name? What uh, was Michael Jackson's dad's name? I don't know. That's a good question. Get the, son, get the, Michael, get the switch. Dad never told you to get the switch? Uh, No. I can see um, your dad doing that. Yeah, I think like one time, but that was it. Okay. I guarantee that guy sounds like but I don't that, think he called it a switch. Get the switch, son. Imagine that. Imagine the humiliation of going, walking to a tree so slowly and trying to find like the softest branch off the tree. Like, okay. Did you know the biggest mistake to make is to find the thinnest branch because they hurt more? How? Because it, it's like a whip. Yeah, but as it goes through the air, the air catches all of it. No? Nope. I don't know. It pierces through the air. The I'll take my chances is. with the, uh, the light switch. You don't want that. Get it? Light switch? All right. Anyway, let's get back to this. So what else we have in this story? Um, no, so that was pretty much it for the Rampage Jackson thing, but I wanted to get into Mike Perry shoving his opponent, Derek Campos, uh, says he took a swing at Trilla Triad Combat Faceoffs. Now, there is a video for this one, and it is on this link, if you scroll all the way up, all hmm. the way up. This is the guy Mike Perry's fighting, by the way. So the guy yes. that they have here is not, it's not the guy. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm saying Tapology probably has it a little. Your Tapology, it's not, it's not this guy, Saki Obika, because there's this guy, look at Saki Obika, right? And then we're doing an investigation. Does that look like him? It's not the same guy. Right? Is it? Oh, here's his name. Here. Michael Seals. Yeah, Michael Seals. But go ar, 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 ar. Yikes. Go all the way up. Can you do a seal for me? Or, 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 or,
Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, did you hear that, Ross? Seal. <laughs> okay, scroll all the way up to the top. I'll show you the um, the uh, what I'm talking about. You pro probably already missed the uh, video, honestly. Let's go, champ. <sighs> I'm going to scroll all the way back up here, and there's nothing. See? What the f... Get, look, give, give, give me this mouse. I'm going to make a robot, Jesse. Give me this, this, this is bullshit. No, I already Give me the mouse. Give me the mouse. All right, hold on. Let me go to the give bottom. Me the mouse. Give me the mouse. There's oh, no man. video here. Give me the mouse. Give me the mouse. This is mouse. legit. No. All right. Here. Give me the take mouse. it. Tommy Fury became a larger favorite today. He is now a minus 167. So Jake Paul, the under. Is that a good bet? You know what? The way Tommy Fury looked at. His first, uh, well, the fight that was with that Bellator guy, he looked like shit. I think I'm going to bet on Jake Paul. If Jake Paul's the underdog, I think I'm going to put money on that thing. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, my mybookie.ag. Mybookie.ag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, 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 chill. What? Why? Because of copyright shit, man. What? I didn't play anything. Just get right to the point. What are you looking for? I didn't even play anything I, you, I think you were switching scenes. No. No, you gotta chill. I didn't even do. It. We can, we keep on getting nailed left and right, but these these freaking just go to ESPN where Perry and... grabs him. That's it. La da 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 da. That should be our transition song. <laughs> can I? Can we make a transition song? Yeah, you just gotta hit it. Look, what's Perry about to make out with this dude? Oh, I kiss you, baby. Oh, oh, give me that. Oh. Oh, give me that. Oh, let me grab you. And then Briggs gets in the mood. Oh, fuck. Both of you motherfuckers. Yo, get it. I <laughs> split that. All right. So there we go. Man, Briggs is a big guy. Yeah. There's nothing that happened there with Perry. What happened? He just went to grab him. Yeah. It just says they. Mwah. Mwah. Wow. That was actually Mwah. very intimate. Mwah. 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 I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know okay. what you're doing either. Here's the other face off. Is that? Oh, here's Mitrione. Can't believe Matt. Oh, good for Matt Mitrione making some money. Mm -hmm. Even though he's like, such a, he is a meathead. Like his nickname. Oh, look, hey, I'm looking at you guys. I got my hat really low. It's cool. I'm so cool. Here's Frankfurt. Frankfurt Mirror. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, is it a little hostility or no? Okay, they said no. there was hostility the on, on quite a few of them. All right, where's the rampage? So now, oh, see, look how look how staged this shit is. Look at this shit. So as so the last face off, I mean, Rampage is really trying. He's really stretching here. So you know, Briggs is just you know talking some stuff. Look at Rampage, it's all thick. He's now he's he's trying to get in there. Where's the camera going? Where the fuck is the camera? Oh, he's like, oh, let me check out the ring girls. These two get in each other's face. Let me check out this girl's tits. Oh, they, okay. Pan out. What the fuck's going on here? Nothing happened. Wait. Oh, I went too far. Oh, no. Here's the fate. No, nothing happened. Where's the shove? Where's the shove that you're talking about? No, they said that Rampage shoved his opponent, Shannon Briggs. Not it's opponent, not but you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you mean. You do know what I mean. So when did it happen? When he faced off with Shannon Briggs. There's no face off. There was a face off. It's just these guys. All right, I don't care anymore. I got to go put the baby to bed real quick. Okay. Yeah, these guys, lo I'm losing my, they're losing my attention. Okay. Manny C. Wonderful, wonderful. Triad should cancel Metallica and get new kids on the block to perform. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I would be hanging tough trying to watch that shit. You know what I'm saying? Wonderful, wonderful. Imagine new kids on the block. I, yeah. Oh my god. My ex was into the new kids on the block. I don't know why anyone would ever pay to see the new kids on the block. Ninety eight degrees. Backstreet boys. In sync. What are we doing? Anyway, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. Ah, uh, super chat. Super chat. Candle. Triangles are my favorite shape. Points for me. K thanks. Also, Fran Gukmather. Frank me, baby. Thank you, Kendall, for the donation. Thank you very much. All right. Check this out. Check this out over here. Mike H., the stream boss, now 53 points away from being dethroned in our first spin. 
over there. So every donation that comes in ships away at the old stream boss. It is $25 to Vugan spin the wheel of champions. And if you'd like to win the game, you need to have the most points. The person with the most points at the end of the evening wins the Fuka Friday points game. Just like that. So you can only get points if the wheel is being spun. You can only get points if you drop a $25 dono or if you become the stream boss. So 53 points away for the stream boss. Another way to get points. We changed up a rule tonight. If you turkey twerk or anything higher from the turkey twerk. You will get those exact points. So $69, 69 points. That's right. $75, 75 points instantly. If you become the stream boss, we'll also give you a spin as well. So just sweetening the pot there. Right now we have no spins. And, and the current champion sitting up top of the list. But there's really a tie game right now. So we are waiting for the spins to see if they come in. 129 left in the Fugin game. We are talking about Triller. Triller Fight Club, the triad combat situation. The controversy continues with BYB, who has uh, put out the lawsuit for with Triller, and Triller is still going forward. They have all the ads popping. They have the press conferences. They have the weigh-ins, the face-offs, the whole deal. It's still going forward here. So Triller's just like, hey, I'm going all in. I don't give a fook. I don't give a fook about the... Lawsuit. So I'm curious to see how that thing pans out. And we're trying to get someone from BYB to talk about the situation. I'm curious about that. But until then, we are reacting to Triller tomorrow. And we'll give you our live reaction. Wonderful, wonderful. Michael H. Put me in coach. Oh, Mike H., who stole the show last week, is back in the fucking game. Michael H. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, we have one spot available in only an hour. 27 minutes left in the points game. Who will win? Time to trademark the remaining shapes. I mean, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. The UFC pretty much started this shit with, with the octagon, if you really think about it, right? With boxing, every event has a circle, a ring that's circular. And, yeah, everyone's followed in the footsteps. No lawsuits or anything that I know of, at least. But the UFC says, hey, we have an octagon. Anyone else does it, we're going to sue the shit out of them. So what happened? Bellator's like, oh, we're going to be doing a circle. We're going we're, we're to be pulling that circle shit. And you have like PFL and these other organizations with 10 and 12 angles or whatever the hell you want to call it. All different shapes. But um, now the triangle is the hot one. And we're going to find out tomorrow, does it really work? I haven't watched any. This will be my first event watching uh, with the triangle, even though this is not the first company that is using the triangle. So keep that in mind. Not the first organization to to trademark this triangle. But we will still watch tomorrow and see what the hell it's about. Because I'm curious to see, is there going to be a difference? Is, is a triangle going to really make a big difference? I don't fucking know. I don't know. But what do you think in the chat? Will a triangle make somewhat of a difference in tomorrow's events? Or any future events? Like, Is that something that enter, that excites you? Seeing a triangle? Um, let me know in that chat room because I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I, I don't know. I got to see it before I can really talk about it. Uh, Austin, 50 bucks gets you one spin. Uh, untrue. Let trigons be trigons. Trapezoid ring coming soon. Triangle is stupid, says Tropic Tom. Ah, oh, super chat. We got Kendall popping in with the 499. You want someone with vibe? Okay. Heart, a pointing <laughs> finger, bet. Kendall wants a little piece of the BYB. And one's in the chat if you'd like to see Kendall do some media for BYB. I think that'd be pretty wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. BYB's events. Oh, I forgot the date, but I do. I think I put it on my. Oh, my phone's not in here. I don't even know. My phone is not here. Anyway, um, I think it's like it's December. 13th, something like that. I'll let you guys know. Uh, triangle does matter. There are re uh, no real corners to hide in. And yeah, that's what you're talking about. Big uh, December 17th. Thank you, Kendall. Uh, the that's what you're talking about with Big Mo. The the triangle. Yeah, you're you're kind of stuck. Like you can get backed into that one of those three corners there, and it's not like you can kind of keep circling around. There's no there's no way to circle the ropes. Like, you try to circle, you're going into a rope. 
You know, yeah, yeah. It's like okay, I'm, I'm kind of st I'm stuck here. So you have to think that there's going to be more action. I'm curious if it's going to spark up more clinching. I, I don't know. I am not quite sure what to expect. I have this will be my first event, and BYB has done it what seven times already. So the eighth time we will definitely uh, check it out. But until then, we got the trailer. And we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. We're going to do a live reaction on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed to the Fukin channel. As we have 55,517 subscribers. Let's go. Glad we can go, baby. This will be weird, though. This is J-Lock. So, yeah, it's going to be odd. I mean, the whole event. See, see what Triller's doing here, though. And a bear, B, BYB is, is a strictly uh, bare knuckle event. So bare knuckle, we already know, is great. Like bare knuckle is a lot of fun to watch. BKFC does a great job. And I'm sure BYB does a pretty good job too with their unique shaped combat platform. But with Triller here, we got some pretty known names. You know, we got, we got well, at least in the MMA world, we got some names that are personalities, people that have stood out, stood out in their own way. So... Um, I, that makes it interesting. And the I like I love MMA versus boxing. I wish though that like Rampage said that the boxers would y yes, fight the MMA guys in boxing and then go to MMA. I think that's the fair way to go. One boxing fight, one MMA fight. That's it. Like these big fights should be like that. And I wish Triller would go into that situation. What about like a triangle cage in Triller? If you're going to have MMA events there as well, throw a triangle cage. I don't fucking know. I don't know what that's going to produce. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. But, I mean, that's that's the only thing that bothers me about these events. Like, how can you say, how can you, like, promote this as MMA versus boxing if it's just boxing guys fighting MMA guys under boxing rule set. You know what I'm saying? It's not quite fully boxing versus MMA or MMA versus boxing. It's not it's not really that. Because if it was, you would have them compete as well in the MMA world. Then it's a clear cut boxing versus MMA, MMA versus boxing. Then it makes sense. But to market this as boxing versus MMA, it should be boxing versus MMA under boxing rules. Because you are handcuffing the MMA fighters. You are stacking the deck in favor of the boxers. Someone in the chat says Thunderdome. And I'm saying yes, 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 yes. Yes. Bitch, yes. Yes. Chris, Chris, yes. Chris, yes. Yeah, man. Let's do it Thunderdome. Max, Mad Max style. Let's go for it. I'm down with that. Just fucking round it off. Like have motorcycles rolling around the cage as people are fighting in the middle. Let's go. Down with that. Definitely down with that. But that's that's my one complaint. If you had to say, Mystic Moss, what is your complaints with this whole circus stuff here? Yes, I love it. I think it's fun. You know, it's is it was my echo on? What the fuck? I think the echo was on. Uh it's a it's a good time. But please, you know, enough's enough. Can we can we throw them in the if you're gonna fight if you're gonna challenge MMA guys, throw them in the, you know, throw them in the MMA cage. How does MMA win and how does boxing win? Just how just on how many people win? Inferno deathmatch. Let's go. I'm so confused. Just place them in <laughs> by the way, I don't know why this I don't know why this made me think like as we were I took my parents we were riding around I was showing them our area we went to a park today I'm just hanging out nice parents time and like as everything was unfolding we had a good Thanksgiving yesterday we find out there's another COVID variant from Africa South Africa or some shit it's like what are we doing can we stop at this stop finding these variants speaking of COVID we need to go into a story Everyone loves COVID, right? That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the topic everyone loves to talk about. There's a gentleman named Diego Sanchez, an MMA fighter. Die Diego the Nightmare Sanchez. 
And he is uh, in the middle of a nightmare right now. As he has, is experiencing uh, some COVID complications. Pneumonia, COVID never give up. Okay. Now, Diego Sanchez has been dragged around the uh, the bare knuckle scene, and he's been all over the place, basically find, trying to find a new home for himself since it doesn't look like the UFC is his place anymore. And Diego is what people like to say a legend in the MMA world. Diego's a, he's a G, man. So here is Diego lying in a hospital bed, all hooked up to create. What's he got? Like rubber bands around his body? I don't know. But pneumonia, never give up. That was 23 hours ago. Uh, blood clots now. COVID is uh, is no motherfucking joke. Blood clots in my le- in both my legs. And then two hours ago, just seeing this now, I have thousands. Hold on, thousands of prayers messages to read while I'm in the hospital. Again, very inspirational. And once again, what are we doing with these ex- exclamation points? You're not screaming in the hospital, are you? Like, are you typing this and saying, "I have thousands and thousands of prayers messages to read while I'm in the hospital again"? Very inspirational. Like, what's the way? Why are you having all these explanation exclamation points? Like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm receiving churches, family. I'm receiving churches. I'm receiving churches. Like, how do you receive a church? Families and just a lot of great people putting me in their hearts and taking it to God the Father. So he's getting a lot of support. So prayers to G- Diego Sanchez, the nightmare. Another one. Fall into the dreaded COVID. So I mean, listen, if it's if you have pre-existing shit, COVID just does not make it any more fun. You know, it doesn't. I wonder if he has the South African variant. But by the way, what the fuck's up with Diego's nipple, man? That that's a big ass. That's a big areola right there. What does he got going on? Is COVID make your nips big? I I got COVID. My nipples didn't get that big. Do you have the nipple variant? Yeah. COVID covid wants to kiss your hand. Here's Vladimir. <coughs> Thrillers should put on race events. Pulse versus real real. Pulse versus real. Uh, nah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's what we need in our lives. If real real is still alive. I don't know if he's even alive anymore, but Pulse, would you, are you in the chat? And if you are, let me know if you'd be down. Thank you, Vlad, for the wonderful, wonderful donation. Wonderful, wonderful. But yeah, Diego Sanchez in the Los Pedale. Over here, so I hope he gets better. He's got a big mask too. That's 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 some mask. You know, very rare you see in the hospital with the with the actual. Why why does he have the mask on in the hospital? Let's see, he's hooked up to oxygen. Is the oxygen going through the mask? Like, what's going? Why does he have a mask? Why does he have a, like oxygen and a mask? Like, I'm assuming there's oxygen going over his mouth, right? Was that shit like going into his neck or something? But why does he have a why does he have a surgical mask over his freaking oxygen mask? What the hell's the point of that? You're already covered. It's odd. That's that's an odyssey right there. Uh, Triller and BYB like Coke and Pepsi. You have to you have competition to make sales. Is Kendall? Yeah, I mean, listen, I gotta be honest with you. Like, as much as I want to shit on Triller, and listen, copying an idea is just it's it's repulsive when you think about it. when you just drag an idea. You're in the same field, and you literally take that idea, rip it out, and just say it's yours. Like, it's fucked up. And that's what they're going with this. They're literally taking this triangle thing and saying it's their idea. So I understand why BYB is upset about this. It's it's kind of a sleazebag move. But with that being said, I don't, I don't quite hate the product because boxing bores the fuck out of me. Like, I feel like you need to do something novel, some novelty shit. Like, give me some Metallica. I feel like you need that. I'm that guy that needs some Metallica to watch this. Give me some MMA guys in there. Give me Shannon Briggs yelling at... Rampage Jackson. Now I'm in. You know, now 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 you get me. You know, BYB's got the novelty of bare knuckle, which makes me interested. But this shit, I mean, they got Metallica for God's sakes. I don't give a fuck if they copy their homework. They got Fuku Metallica. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So that's my opinion on that. Hit the like button, friends, if you haven't done so yet. 170 people watching. 74 likes. Boo. <laughs> What are you doing? Like, what the?
Let me let me make this little. I don't know why the hell it's so big. But what, what are we doing here? Like this is just it's just un- unacceptable behavior. And and I can't handle. I mean, we just had Thanksgiving for God's sakes. Why is this thing so big? Make this smaller. I I how how can I back behave? What is going on? This is like the biggest white box in the world. It's a big white box. Like what the? Why is the why is that white box so big? Let's make it smaller. Like, Jesus, I really went crazy with that white box. So if I put this down like this, holy shit. Hold on a second here. Let me go to the filter here for a second. Where's the top going? Here we go. Oop, wrong way. Here we go. Look at the 84. 84 fucking likes. Not sure why that box is so big. Can't, can't quite figure that out. But there we go. There we go. Look, see that on the fly. We, we troubleshoot on the fly. Hour and 14 minutes and still, still no spins tonight. This is unbelievable. No points, no winner tonight. We will actually have a, a question mark on the belt and roll over to next week, which would actually be kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. The knitter will lose her strap and we move on. But here we are as the Fuka Friday game is going. 113. We need a spinner. Ruski, 45 hit points for Mike H to be dethroned from the stream boss, or he can add on to that. Uh, $25 to spin. And we said, turkey twerking up. You don't get a spin. You just get those fucking points. So turkey twerking up, and you get those points. Thank you guys who have donated. You are wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's look at another story over here as we're cruising. Cruising through the news. The MMAholes.com is where we're pulling this puppy. Chat room. And let's click a ruski. There we go. Fook off Friday. So if you're just jumping in, we're going to be doing Triller. Tomorrow we'll be doing a live reaction. It's going to be aids It's what I like. Did, did you guys see Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury threatens to backhand Paul Brothers during the wild press conference. And when they say wild, it was, it was bonkers. The only thing that sucked about it was Jake Paul had shitty Wi-Fi. It was quite unlistenable for the shitty Wi-Fi of Jake Paul. But Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury's pop, and Tyson Fury's half-brother, and Tommy Fury, who's fighting Jake Paul, it was quite entertaining if you can get past the gibberish of Jake Paul's shitty Wi-Fi. Tyson Fury and Pop are selling, are literally selling this fight. Both guys. Another novelty, ridiculous fight. But Tyson Fury's in the pocket. And I'm curious how much money he's going to make off. Is he making He's got to be making something off of this to be sitting here and going back and forth with Jake Paul. It's got to be driving him nuts. Like, Tyson Fury would literally flatline Jake Paul. Like, literally destroy the man. But yet, he's got to sit there and, like, talk shit for his brother because Tommy Fury doesn't know what the hell he's doing. It's kind of weird that Tommy Fury's got to be fucking dragging these dudes around. You know? Like, if, if I'm Tommy, and pro- people are probably like, uh, Who the fuck is that like, guy? Even my dad's like, who the hell is Who's Tommy Fury? Who is this guy? Well, he's the half-brother of Tyson Fury who just beat up uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury is in my opinion one of the goats of heavyweight the guy's fantastic but here's Tommy Fury in this big mega circus fight with Jake Paul and he's got his pop and his brother sitting there doing all the fucking talking it's kind of embarrassing if Tommy loses this fight which he shouldn't because he's a boxer if he loses this fight how humiliating is that I mean this is worse than Ben Askren, this is worse than Jake Paul or Nate Robinson. Tommy Fury losing would be a complete abomination to the whole Fury family. Like, I would legit, if I was a Fury, I would disown the human. If you go in there, drag the Fury name into this fight and do something like that. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, no. Can I play? Happy late Thanksgiving, guys. Smiley face. Oh, boy. There is one spot available. And ladies and gentlemen, drop the name in the chat. He is back. Dun, dun, dun. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh Uh-oh. And my Thanksgiving was pretty good. I enjoyed it. 
We had a good time. We had two uh, families. We had both families, like representatives, show up. It was wonderful, wonderful. We had a great time. I hope yours was great as well. I saw Roberto was traveling and doing his thing. Thank you, my friend, for the donation. So the I see the Hearns in the chat. We have ourselves a man who has taken over this game many of times. He has entered. The game is completely full now. Hearns in the game and is your champion, the Turkey Twerk champ. Now, Hearns, if you are just jumping in, the game's rules are exactly the same, but we added something else. Turkey Twerk and up. You get guaranteed points. You bypass the wheel and you get those points. So like the old points game, $69 gets 69 fucking points. So Hearns, this could be a problem. And if you become the stream boss, you will get a spin. No matter what, becoming that stream boss, you'll get a spin. So you'll add the points and get the spin. I mean, Jesus. Just saying. That's, that's a problem. That's a problem for the other players, including myself and JBM and everyone else on the board. But uh, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hundred dollars. me vampire <laughs> the hearns comes in he becomes a stream boy so he gets a spin and he gets a hundred fucking points wow holy shit so right off the bat the hearns hits himself with the hundo shout out to the hearns man wow that was a bomb over there thank you so much for that donation you have no idea how much you helped this community i mean the hearns is a reason why that man has his own fucking emoji there's a reason that guy has he has been the lifeline of this channel. So thank you, Hearns. Appreciate that, man. You are a sexy man. 100, and we give you the fucking spin as well because you have become the stream boss. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Whoa. The wheel has been spun, and he adds 21 points to his current score. Wow. Look at the Hearns. Happy Turkey Twerk Day. So 121. Look at that. What a what a legend. What a legend over there. The Hearns. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that donation. Anyway, uh, back to the program here. We discussed Triller. Uh, we discussed a little Thanksgiving. And we rolled over to Tommy Fury and uh, his fight against Jake Paul. Now, there's, we've been a little heavy on the boxing tonight. And maybe that is good for people like Roberto, who's a boxing fan. Or someone else is a boxing fan. There is no UFC tomorrow night. So there's a reason why we are dabbling into circus stuff. If you're not into the circus stuff, no worries. Next Saturday, we'll be back in business with the UFC. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. And JBM will be with us uh, as well. She's just getting the re baby ready for bed. But, um... Oh, Queen uh, Boutica doesn't have any idea what this game is. Well, here you go. All right, friends, here we go. These are the rules to the Fighter's Chance Wheel Fuka Friday extravaganza. That's right, the Fighter's Chance Wheel is in play tonight. And this is how you can be involved. Drop a $2 donation to enter the game. Up to seven players per game, including the hosts. $25 to spin the wheel, and the donation must say points to a specific player. Every additional $25 is another spin. So, for example, $50 equals two spins. $75 equals three spins. $100 equals, well, you know how that works. When it lands on a fighter, the amount of the wins the fighter has is the amount of points the player receives. Player with the most points at the end of the game wins the game, receives a wonderful, wonderful prize, and becomes the Fuqua Friday champion for the week. How the stream boss works 
the fuck is a stream boss? Well, let me tell you. You still listening? The stream boss starts off with 100 hit points. Every donation that comes in from any donator deducts that many hit points from the stream boss. So $2, you take two points away. $69, you take 69 points away. Wonderful, wonderful. Attack the stream boss. You hear me? If someone becomes a member or hits a membership milestone, that deducts 15 hit points from the stream boss. So he can be hit from all different angles. She can be hit from all different angles. Stream boss can keep their position with continuous donations. So you can fight back. The denomination of every dollar from the stream boss equals one hit point added. Once a donor becomes a stream boss, they choose which player receives a spin. That's right. Every new stream boss gives a player a spin. That simple. That is how you play the Fuka Friday game. And spin the fighter's chance wheel. Good luck. Ah, yeah, baby. Fuko Friday. We just added the turkey twerk and up. If that comes in, you bypass all the spinnerooskies and you get the points guaranteed right over there. Turkey twerk and up. And you saw Roberto dropping a hundo. Thank you, my friend. But uh, yeah, right now, Roberto is the stream boss. I, and Kendall had a milestone, so that took 15 points off when Mike H. was the stream boss. So many ways to spin the fook and wheel. Thank you to everyone who is playing tonight, and good luck. On the wheel, there is a Severin. So that could put you right in the mix with the $25 donation, or if you become the stream boss. So good luck, baby. All right. Back into... Back into the stories here. Let's see what else we have. We spoke a little Fury. We spoke a little Jacob Paul. We spoke a little of the Triller situation. No oofk this weekend. But we have Sean Brady. I was just sucking blood the entire fight against Michael Chiesa. He did have some damage and it's delicious. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have the Diego Sanchez story, which we were talking about, which he got the Rona. Diego Sanchez. I want to know in the chat, you guys, how many people in the chat got the Rona? With a one, how many people got the Rona virus? And I don't want to, I don't want the ones from people that are like, oh, I think I got sick and I think I got it. No, I want people that know for sure that they got the Rona. That's what I want to know because I'm curious how many people got infected with this annoyance. It's quite annoying. Myself and Jesse got it and, uh, you know, it kind of sucked. But some people get it. It doesn't suck. Some people don't even know they had it. Uh, let's see. Kendall got it. Uh, Mike didn't get it. That's good news. Uh, James got it. Uh, let's see. Cool Breeze got it. Michigan got it. Sean Hart. Thank, thank God, Sean. That's good stuff there. Mere Mortals. COVID is a severe flu. That's all. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Wild Berry got it. Mm, let's see. My whole family got it. This is Carl. Uh, let's see, let's see. I have the chronic. I have the chronic. Man, oh man. Carl, I hope your family's good, man. We're all good now. It's good news, man. Yeah, it's good news. Yeah, so Diego Sanchez, we talked about this before. He got him for some reason. It made him get some really big nips. His nips got really big. See? He got, that was a side effect I didn't know about. And he also has a mask, a uh, uh, a surgical mask over an oxygen oxygen mask. Now I think Diego's going to be all right. I don't, I don't think he's going to. He's an athlete. Um, not saying oh because he's an athlete he's going to be fine, but uh, it did give him pneumonia. It did give him blood clots, which is a little alarming. Um, but um, yeah, you know, from what I gather, is if you have pre existing stuff, it does not help the situation. It kind of speeds it up. Uh, so hopefully he gets better over here, and we can all shake past this bullshit virus. Because that's basically at the end of the day. I think we could all agree it's it's a nuisance and it's bullshit. Uh, let's see. Let's back up that ass. So for some reason, my back... Why is, that, why is my backspace not working? Today, the amount of things that decided not to work... There we go. It's, it's quite alarming. Quite, quite alarming. Okay. 
Uh, it seems to mess up loads of fighters as they try to push themselves through. Uh, through it just wrecks them. Yeah, I'm curious if like, like well, well, Diego is not training. I saw Matt Brown's got. It. I don't know how, how severe Matt Brown is, but he's. I think he's all right. But he he's not able to fight, which kind of sucks. William Knight's fighting next week. Menafield versus Knight. That was a fight that was supposed to happen. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, it, it's bizarre because. You get the flu, and pretty much you, everyone gets the same fucking symptoms. Like, there's a little variation, but everyone gets the same. Uh, COVID, it's it's like this circus of symptoms. Like, they're, they're bizarre. Me and Jesse had, like, completely different things. Like, a couple of things that were the same and completely different. Like, everyone that gets it has a whole different story. It's, it's, it's a fucking weird situation. And I think these doctors and everyone doesn't even know what the hell's going on anymore. You're making vaccines, new variants are coming out. You got to get fucking plucked again. Like... It's just it's just a guessing game for everyone. And Jesse just she has more like side effects. This is nuts. Jesse lost her taste and smell again. Everything she smells right now smells rotten. Any type of food that she eats smells rotten. Right before Thanksgiving, she just went to the doctor and it wound up being because of fucking COVID. It, it screwed up her senses and everything like that. So it's just like it just hits everyone. Now I'm fine. Like I thankfully knock on wood, I haven't had any problems since. I have like a little, like my respiratory, you know, I, I feel a little weird in certain ways, but nothing to be like alarmed about. But Jesse's like, she's eating, she's eating like, like delicious food and, and it's, she's like, it smells terrible. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So hopefully she shakes that, but it's, it's really unique. It's a unique thing. That's why like when people say, oh, it's just another flu. No flu does that. Like <laughs> that's crazy, man. We all have COVID PTSD. I know, right? It's nuts, man. If you get it, like, what is going on? I haven't had a, even a cold, and I have never worn a mask one single time. Well, listen, I, <laughs> you're like a mutant. Like, you're like, you should be part of the X-Men. I don't know. I mean, do you go out? You may not go. You must. Do you live in a bubble? Like, as soon as you, you're around kids, you get sick. Like, does anyone notice that? Like, some people have great immune systems, but if you're around enough kids... It fucks you up. These kids are like germ fucking, like everything. Like my kid is going to be bringing home shit from school and, you know, it's 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 just nuts, man. It's just nuts. But, um, virus has not been isolated. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, it's another sickness is uh, Carl. I watched the buffer just scream the COVID out of his lung. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the COVID. Buffer's nuts though, man. He he's another he's one of those extremists though. Like he's taking it to the level. Like he's really serious about his precautions, and then he got nailed with it. And I noticed in the last UFC event, his voice wasn't quite there, but he's just trucking through it. So Bruce Bruce is a is a savage. Kids are germ bags. Yeah, they really are. Anytime I used to go to my my brother's house and see my nephews, I got sick every fucking time. Like every time. And now with my kid. To be the same thing. Jesse's the type of person that doesn't really get out too much. Like she's a homebody. So she her like she's usually good. She's usually never sick. She's never out. But when she got the corona, she got freaking it was like two weeks of hell for her. Like she was bedridden the whole deal. And I think it's because, you know, she wasn't around there collecting the germs and building up that immunity. I don't know. She's a, pr a pretty strong girl. But that, that, you know, that kicked her ass. Kobe Covington would love to expose hype job Hamza Chimaev. Lord up there, Lord MMA gods, please, please make that, <coughs> make that fight, please, <laughs> please. Make it happen. I need that. If listen, if Colby Covington's like fuck it, these guys don't want the smoke. Give me Hamzat Chimaev. Put Hamzat. Put Colby. Ultimate Fighter. Let's go. Let's go. And I got to say this: if Colby Covington is is a man of his word and wants to expose Hamzat Chimaev, Colby Covington could wind up being my favorite fighter. If Colby beats Hamzat Chimaev, I would legit say fuck Connor, fuck everyone else. Anyone else on that MMA roster, Kobe's a G. I don't care how many times he loses to Kamaru Usman. If he takes Hamza Chimaev, who's a fucking savage, 
and defeats Hamzat, which I mean, I guess it's not impossible because Hamzat hasn't really proved himself against the top guys in the welterweight class. But that'd be wild, man. That might be better than Colby George. Yeah, because we all know Colby's going to beat George. Jorge will not win that fight. And Jorge is injured now, and we don't know when he's coming back. You put Hamza and Colby together, that would catapult. And here's the here's the, the deal. Even if Colby loses this fight, the exposure Colby Covington would get on top of the exposure he always already made for himself would be catastrophic. It would be nuts. Not catastrophic. It would be it would be orgasmic if you're Colby Covington. Like his name would legit be everywhere. He'd be a household name. I mean, I kind of get why Colby's like, fuck it, I take that chance. Because even if he loses, Colby's shown that he he can lobby, he can finagle his way back into the fans' hearts. Colby putting out tweets out there, you know, throwing happy birthday. Like, he, Colby, listen, say what you will about the guy. The dude is, like, doing shit he doesn't have to do. He's doing media outlets out there. He hasn't done the MMA holes, by the way. I don't know why he's not doing that. But he's done media outlets that are very small. Compared to the Ariels and Luke Thomases, right? And I should say Ariels and TMZ and shit like that. And ESPN, Brett Okamoto's. But he's doing these little smaller media outlets. He's going out there giving shout outs to kids that like have two followers on Twitter. And, and, and slipping DMs to them. Not even post it, like publicly posting it. Putting private DMs to, to young men and women out there. You know, giving them happy birthday wishes and shit like that. Like, deep down, Kobe's probably a good dude. It's just this whole shtick is what's got everyone talking about him. If Kobe Covington fights Hamza Chimaev, win or lose, I mean, that's mega. Who wins, though? Hamza. Hamza wins. But Kobe can lose that fight and still find a way to save face. Yes, the Kobe haters will destroy Kobe Covington and call him a fraud and blah, blah, blah. But he still could lose that and look good. Because, hey, you lost to the hype. You lost to Hamzad. He's legit a scary wolf. So I kind of get it. Kobe taking that fight would be wild. That would be fucking... Dude, that would be bonkers. Make it happen. Let's go. Make it happen, Dana. What are we doing? Put the pieces together. Put Hamzat and Colby. I like it better than Leon versus Hamzat. I like it better than George versus Colby or George versus Hamzat. Burns versus Hamzat. Burns wanted no part of that smoke. He's not ranked high enough for me to fight him. Yeah, Ali of Delaziz, you don't want your boy getting smoked. Because Gilbert Burns losing to Hamzat, it's a different story. It's not Colby Covington has shown that he can keep his his name in there. In your heads. So. You know, and a lot of people out there have said that I'm a Kobe hater. I'm, you know, I'm this, I'm that. Listen, I don't hate Kobe Covington. I don't in any way. I think Kobe, what he's done with his marketing, yeah, some things are cringe here and there. I don't hate the guy. I actually think the guy probably is a good dude. What he said about Dustin Poirier or Dustin Sorier or whatever, Sorier or whatever he calls him, um, you know, it could be a little cringe. What he's done with the Brazilians and stuff like that could be a little cringe. But then you see people in his gym, the new gym, MMA Masters, they all love him. All nationalities love the guy. So I think it's a big shtick. I think it's a big shtick. Kamaru Usman has his number, though. That's the only thing I would have to say. It's not even a question. I love Kobe Covington. He is very nice, I hear. Kobe will not be able to recover his uh, commercial value after Hamza finishes him. Very... I lost you. Ah, oh, shit. I wanted to read that, but I kind of got the gist of it. Oh, here we go. Very bad career move. Uh, he'll duck. You think Kobe will duck him? I mean, it would be smart to duck him if you want to you know, get back in the title picture. But if you do fight this guy, ultimate fighter... Rolling into, I mean, it would be a mega fight. Colby and Camaro made what seven hundred k pay per view buys, which is, I mean, that's that's pretty good for those two. That's pretty damn good. I mean, it's not quite Connor level yet, but Colby fights Hamzat, and it puts his name on another level here. He already knows how to market himself. A lot more people will learn about him. He will market the shit out of that fight, earn more fans, and he has learned how to maintain that fan base off a loss. 
just like Conor McGregor, the same shit. Conor McGregor has found a way to maintain a fan base. Now, Conor McGregor's on another level of a fan base, right? The guy walks down the street, he's getting bombarded. That's not happening with Colby. But Colby still has found a way to, to keep growing his brand. And fighting comms out, win or lose, of course, win would be the, the perfect scenario. But if he loses, not a bad hit. Especially if Hamza beats Usman. Think about this. Think about this. If you're Kobe Covington, you lose to Hamza Chimaev. And Hamza runs up to Usman and beats Usman. Kobe don't look bad anymore. He don't look bad. He looks fine. Hamza's just a fucking savage. Think about that. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. About Colby Covington versus Hamza Chemaev, I think it would be savage. Ah, uh, super chat. Super duper chat, Jamie Schwint. My holes in crowd. Come on, get loud, MMA, hold in the crowd. Now, that was a super chat. That's why I didn't play the song, but I sang it for you. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. 48 minutes left in the points game, and so far the Hearns in first place. The $5 donation took away five from the stream boss of Roberto. So you chipped away, 95 away. Now, like I said before, if you drop a massive 69 turkey twerk and up, those points automatically go next to your player's name. So you could guarantee get those points. If you do a $25 dono, you get the spin. Severin on the wheel with the 101. So 25 can help as well. Any donation that comes in, it just plain helps us out. It keeps us alive. Well, what else keeps us alive over here is our sponsors. If it wasn't for the donations, if it wasn't for the sponsors, we would legit not be doing a YouTube channel because honestly, it's it's a tough grind. It really is. But I love doing it. No complaints over here. Let's give a shout out to MysticRootsCBD.com. There's a promo code. It's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S for 20% off MysticRootsCBD.com. We got Head Rush. We got Christmas right around the corner. Here's your Head Rush promo code. Same thing. M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S to get the Head Rush gear. And oh my God, look at the old Mystic Moss. Got my head rush gear over here. Let's go. Wonderful. 20% off using our promo code MMAHOLES. I like my head rush. And I've watched this thing a gazillion times along with the other head rush shirts I have. And uh, no fadage. It's premium clothing. It's it's pretty uh, pretty impressive head rush over there. Also, if you're going to watch the UFC fights, ESPN Plus is the way to go. And just click the link in the description. Everyone that signs up through our link helps us out as well. So all these things work out nicely for us. The ESPN Plus, Head Rush, MysticRootsCBD.com. Also, my bookie looking to play some bets. Let me see what they got over here on my bookie. I'm actually curious. We took a hit. Like, the last week was a bad hit for us, but we're still up overall with our my bookie gambling. So we're keeping track on that. We'll let you know how that plays out. But if you go over to MMA, MMA, or see, it's, oh, hold on, it's... UFC lines. So you got the Aldo font. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Jose Aldo, a plus one, one five. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to go on. Rob fonts look great. But so is Jose. I, oh, fucking hey, man. I don't hate that. Matt Brown's off this card, so that's a bummer. Where's my boy, William Knight? Where are you sitting, William? Where's William? There he is. William Knight Menafield. Oh, William's getting points too. Menafield is a minus 170. William's a plus 140. William looks savage right now. Now, Menafield is a a taller, big man. I mean, that's a that's two Goliaths going at it with each other. William's just a shorter stature guy. Damn. Chris Curtis jumping on the card against Brendan Allen. Oh, my God. They're giving Chris Curtis a savage over there and Brendan Allen. This, yo, next week's fun. Next week's fun. Wow, man. Imagine putting a parlay together of all those underdogs. <laughs> Go Curtis Knight. Mickey Gall's an underdog, too. Morono. Clay Guida's an underdog. I tell you what, there's some that's sticking out. Now, I'm not going to say these underdogs are going to win, but things are sticking out. Got Jimmy Crew, Jamal Hill. Well, that's a good fight. This card's pretty good. Talk about a different card from last weekend. So December 4th, the UFC is back in action. Okay, I'm definitely going to be throwing there. Let me see what else they got here. Boxing, are they going to throw? 
Any thriller? Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Let's see what we got. We might have to put money on Paul. He's a plus 100. Oh, shit, man. Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Either fighter bleeds. Wager cutoff 2021, uh, December 18th. So either fighter bleeds. It's a plus 100. What do you think? They bleeding? Wow, Jake Paul's the under on this thing, huh? Tommy Fury hasn't done shit. Interesting. Uh, Hamza will not be able to make 170, and that's how his Mon Kobe and the other top wrestler based welterweights will duck him. Towel trick is easy for NCAA wrestlers to catch. Uh, yeah, he, he technically kind of cheated in the last event, Hamza. But, um,. If he can make that championship weight, I think what's going to happen is this. I think Hamza Chemaev is going to do whatever he can to get a shot at the welterweight title. And as soon as that happens, if he could win that thing, welterweight, he's going to go immediately up. It's not even a question to me. I don't think Hamza's going to win welterweight and then defend the welterweight belt. He's going to win welterweight and immediately go up. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what Hamzat's going to do. He's going to make weight a couple more times. Just get himself in play for the uh, fight against Kamara Usman. That, that's my mystical prediction there. And then just go up to middleweight. You saw what we did with Jack the Joker in the wrestling match. over. I know it's not uh, MMA. It's a little laxed compared to MMA. But he still won against a top five guy. So... Hamza Chemaev is scary, man. If if he can make that welterweight, he is very scary. Who is Tyson Fury fighting? No, no, no. It's Tommy Fury, his half brother, a very uh, good looking half brother of his that the women love. So Tommy Fury, man, there's there's a bunch of bets I kind of want to make now, but I'm gonna hold off until next week. Next week we're gonna ro be rocking and rolling. By the way, let me give you the schedule for next week. So next week we'll be doing our Monday show, and then Tuesday. And Wednesday, we're off. But Thursday, we'll be doing our Wednesday show. So we're moving Wednesday to Thursday. And we will have two guests on the show. One of them is Baby Fook and Hulk. Come back on. Love Baby Hulk. Wonderful, wonderful. Talking about, I mean, this guy's winning belts all over the place. The Baby Hulk coming on Thursday night. So we're a special Thursday night show. Wednesday is moving to Thursday. Just for next week. And then back to the Wednesday. So that's going on next week. Uh, it's going to be a fun week. It's going to be good. Uh, I see Kamzat making Usman cry, and Kobe saying, uh, see chemical imbalance. He destroyed Hermanson. DJ A. Fief, uh, don't give a fuck about uh, how good you wrestle. Uh, Izzy will murder that wrestler. See, I, I disagree. The Weasel did a, a whole video, and I'm not a Weasel fan, but I did notice on Twitter he put it out there. That um well no he didn't do a video about this I saw he put a tweet about it that well maybe he did a video I don't know but I saw I did see the tweet and he said that Hamza Chimaev has a better chance of beating Izzy over Kamara Usman considering Kamara Usman is a wrestler Hamza Chimaev with his wrestling would put Izzy in serious problems I'm telling you I even thought Kamara Usman's wrestling would be troublesome for Izzy but Hamza's a big guy. Hamza's no fucking, he's no little man. Like, that's a that's a big, strong welterweight. He's really a middleweight. Hamza would go in there against Izzy. Now, Jesse has a different opinion. But wrestling, you should give a fuck about it. Because if you look at all the dominating champs in the UFC, especially as of late, wrestling wins championships. It's that simple. I mean, it worked for Blahovich. Blahovich, now clearly he's a bigger guy. But it worked for Blahovich. Dragged him down and did his thing. Hamza Chemaev would be a problem for Izzy. He would. Now, maybe Izzy catches him on the way in a knee, a fucking elbow. You know, Izzy's a great striker. Don't get me wrong. But um, it's interesting. He won't get a chance to wrestle those two. Um, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I respectfully disagree because I already made my mystical prediction. And we all know I always get it right, so... But um, I appreciate your opinion. Okay, let's go over to the next story over here. So we gave a shout out to our my bookie. Listen, you know what? I make my mystical predictions here. I mean, I what? How many times is everyone gonna doubt me? I mean, what the heck is going on? You guys know that I see into the future. 
You guys know that. What are we doing? Kevin Holland, Big Mouth. I'm taking my talents to welterweight in 2022. We've been hearing this, buddy. And I believe that I think he could make welterweight because he kind of walks around at the bigger weight class. You know, he seems like the wrestling at middleweight is a problem. So if he goes to welterweight, that'd be pretty interesting. So he's saying he's taking his talents to welterweight. Now, if he can easily make that championship weight, he's a problem. The problem is, does Kevin Holland beat the Hamza Chemaevs? Does he beat the Kumar Usman, the Colby Covington? I mean, you go in a wrestle, uh, you go in a, I was going to say wrestle weight. It should be called wrestle weight. You go into the wrestle weight division, for God's sakes. You're literally going down from middleweight. Your champion at middleweight is not a wrestler. It just so happens the guys in the way are. And you're going to go down to where the champion is a wrestler. All right, Kevin. Listen, I like Kevin Holland. I'm a fan. I just feel like he's, he might be one of those guys that's in limbo. In weight limbo. One of those guys that kind of floats in a weight that he is very talented, but just can't find his place. Ah, oh, super chat. Can I be a guest? A Dave Thomas, can I be a Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, bitch! Dave Thomas, you can be a guest. I don't know when, but we'll we'll set it up. 38 minutes left in the points game, friends, and the Hearns is in the lead with the 121. Is anyone else going to spin this thing, or are you just going to give it to the Hearns? Thank you very much to the Hearns for being so wonderful, wonderful with that generous donation, and we'll see who wins this game. Now, Jesse's slipping back in the mix. Let's go. Wonderful, wonderful. Jess, what do you think about Kevin Holland... Going mm -hmm. to welterweight. Kevin Holland going to welterweight. Uh, all right. I right, listen. I don't think Kevin Holland's all he's like cracked up to be in the first place. First place. First place. So, um, I think if, if Kevin Holland moves and whatever. All right, Kevin Holland, have fun. <laughs> so you you don't. So basically, it sounds like you're you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Kevin Holland's in limbo. He can't find a weight class. Well, no, I don't even think he's in limbo. I think I think Dana White gave Kevin Holland multiple chances to prove himself. And I think on a couple of occasions, Kevin Holland kind of screwed the pooch, you know? Mm -hmm. So you can move to welterweight. Maybe you'll make a statement there, you know? And if you do, then, I ha then you know, you probably collect a couple more fans and people are going to jump back on this Holland hype train. But honestly... I think he ruined a lot of his chances that he was given. And Dana White gave him a couple chances. So, uh, what are you going to do? Move if you want to, but it's not like I'm going to, you know. Oh, Kevin Holland at welterweight, what? No. What does screwed the pooch mean? You never heard screwed the pooch? What does it mean? I actually got that from my dad. Okay. I don't know what it means. I just know <laughs> it means when you fuck up. Like, so, like if you fuck kay. up. Well, like anytime you f you fuck up or if someone screwed else the fucks pooch? up, you have sex with a dog. My dad goes, "Well, you screwed the pooch, didn't you?" That's so what you he fuck, says. You fucked a dog. I guess I don't know. It's it's like you fucked up. Like you had your chance. You, you banged and the dog. You fucked it so up. So Kevin Holland had sex with a dog. You're saying, right? Kevin Holland had sex with a dog. What do you think about Kevin moving from middleweight, where the champion is a striker, to welterweight, where it's littered with wrestlers? Ask that again. Kevin Holland is leaving middleweight, yeah. where the champion is a striker, an elite striker, but a yeah. striker. Mm -hmm. Going down to welterweight, where it's littered with wrestlers. Right. Um, <laughs> like I said before, I'm not super he's hyped about Kevin Holland. I think that either way, he's screwed. He's, yeah, screw he's he, in a bad place. He's, you know, but whatever. <laughs> you know, like... Listen, I mean, what kind of pooch I is he screwing? I respect that the guy is trying to keep himself in the headlines. I respect that he's, like, trying to make moves, you know? Because I think he knows he screwed the pooch, right? And uh, so he's trying to, to give himself another chance here because nobody else is going to do that for him. Colby Covington calling out Hamza Chemaev. What do you think? Um, Chemaev would destroy him. Really? No, no doubt in my mind Chemaev would destroy him. Okay. 
let's talk about this. Well, yeah. I, I gave my opinion on this situation, and I told you why it's good and good. I think it's it's good all around for everybody. Fans, I even think a loss would be good for Colby Cuffin. I already went through down that road, so if you missed it, rewind it. Mm-hmm. I want to know why, uh, what, like, dive deeper into this. Well, uh, I think Usman stays at the top. And I think Hamzat Jemayev, I've told you this before. Actually, I told you this after the Colby Covington versus Usman fight. You said, does Hamzat Jemayev fight Usman? And if so, does he win? I said, yes, he could fight Usman, but no, he doesn't win. And then you asked me something about else about like who, who beats Hamzat or whatever. But my answer was, Hamzat can beat everyone to the top. But once he gets to the top, he's not beating Usman. So... Colby Covington, in essence, would be one of the ones to get to the top. So I think Hamzat beats Covington. Hamzat could beat Masvidal. Hamzat could beat Burns. Actually, I don't know about Burns. Burns is pretty tough. And Burns is very well-rounded and great on the ground. Wait a second. So. Pull, wait. I'm not saying Burns wins. Brakes. I'm not saying Burns wins. I'm just saying there is that little potential in my head that I. Because Burns would clearly be the underdog in that fight, I would think. Hold on a second. You're saying that he Burns. runs through Colby Covington, mm-hmm. but has a problem with Burns. Yeah. I do. I, I believe it. But listen. You do realize Gilbert Burns is legit running. Like, no joke. He's not running. He is running from Uzma. I mean, from uh, Hamza. Gilbert no, Burns. Gil- Gilbert Burns said that he would fight Hamza. Nope. Gilbert Burns Where's says no, no. Gilbert Burns is exact. Well, I'm paraphrasing, but very close to his quote, saying that Hamzad is not ranked in the top five, and he doesn't want to fight a guy low ranked. He's not. He's not ready. He, he th- said this. Yes, that's why he's not fighting him. They're not. It's not happening. Now, this could not be. This could be Ali Abdelaziz saying this for him, but they are okay. advising Gilbert Burns to steer oh, clear of the wolf. They're advising him against him. That, that doesn't uh, mean that Gilbert I'm, Burns doesn't want the fight. I mean, he clearly doesn't. Because, I mean, if he really wanted it that bad, he would look at Ali and say, shut the fuck if, up, I'm fighting this guy. If Ali has any say in it at all, you know he's he's just going to he's gonna try and sway because he's doing what, what's in the best interest of his fighter. You know, so uh, fuck that. If they're advising him, that means nothing. There's a, a million times fighters have been advised by their coaches, by their management team, by whoever – not to do something and the fighter still does it. That doesn't that doesn't mean that Gilbert Burns doesn't want to super fight. Super chat. Hold on, sec, Jess. We got super What's chat. with the wheel and how do I spin it? Well, it's funny that you say that. Okay, Dave Thomas. It's funny. It's funny that you say that. I'm gonna make it very quick for you guys. Okay, 32 minutes left. This is the Fuko Friday points game. Now we do this every single Friday as we talk some MMA topics. We spin Fook and wheels. Okay. We have people on the board here. Now, the the players are in. We already did that. Everyone jumped into the game. Okay? How to spin the wheel. It's a $25 donation. Or if you take out the stream boss, which is $23 away, he's taken out. Wow. Wow. The Hearns got hit. We got to catch up on donations. Once he's taken out, you can get a spin over there. Okay? Um, so $25 donation, $25 donation, or becoming a stream boss, you get a spin. We just added today. That's over the 69 and over donation. You get automatic points automatically put in the spot of a player. I think I should automatically get points just for being on the board. You want a turkey twerk? Oh, yeah. It's turkey twerk or bub, right? Yes. So you want a turkey twerk. You just ask give for me, it. Give me that turkey twerk. <laughs> give me that fucking turkey twerk. So that's twerk. pretty much how you do it. Now, the Hearns is is hanging on by a thread with 23. Let's catch up on some donates, donations. What do we got here? <gasps> Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. My name is Troll, and I'm a special hole. I'm shirtless and alone again. Internet is my only friend. It's Christmas. Hooray! I sit and watch him a No girlfriend this year, but I have my hand. You definitely have your hand. Sit in front of computer, making fun of people. No avatar to hide my gremlin face. It's Christmas, friends. Oh yes, it's Christmas. I am so hideous. Maybe Santa will bring me a pocket pussy. Oh my God! A festive donation. I can't believe Christmas is just around the corner. I know. I'm already putting up Christmas decorations today, guys. I took I down all my Thanksgiving decorations, and Christmas is going up. Although, Moss, I am going to need your help finding another Christmas box, but that that's a conversation for another time. That is a merry donation. Thank you, Uncle Mike H., for bringing the festive activity to the community. And that is wonderful, wonderful. I got to say this, Jesse. Your opinion. Uh, 
Bird shot. Oh, shit, the Schwint. Oh. Couple spins, Jesse. You Woo-hoo. so hot. Best UFC fight commentary world. Let's go, wow. Jimmy Schwint, baby. That is two fucking spins. Look at that. And we have a new street. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Okay, let's give you the two spins. The, the game is heating up, give baby. Give me two severs, baby. The game is speeding and up. Let's go. Let's go. Wowzer. Oh, my goodness gracious. What the hell was that, Moss? I demand that I click the spin next time. What the fuck? Give me, give, let me click the spin. I'm spinning this time around. Here we go. Ready? Moss ain't spinning my wheel. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh! Oh, just was- Oh, dang it. Henry Sehuto, you got 16 points, baby. That puts you in second place. All right, I'll take second place. I'm down with that. Can someone give me a turkey twerk, though? I'd be very happy with a turkey twerk. My one's broken. There we go. 16 points. Beautiful. All right, so 16 points. Okay. All right, well, we got some we got some interesting stuff going on here. Look at this. The people have woken up on a fook on Friday. Hearns with the first place. JBM with 16 points. Here we go. What else we got over here? Ah, oh, super chat. Super Dave chat. Thomas. Fook that guy. I want a spin. All right. You get two spins. He gets three spins because oh, Dave Thomas. New stream boss. Became the stream boss and two spins over there. Also, someone took a chunk away from his thing. Whoa, we got a lot of activity here. So, Dave Thomas, you get three spins because you became a stream boss as well. So, let's spin away. Okay, good luck. Oh, God, no. The Lesnar. Now, hold on. I just remembered something. Dave Thomas is not even here. He's not- <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dave- All right, Dave Thomas, give your points to someone because you're not on the board, bro. <laughs> Dave, if you are in the, which I'm assuming you're in the chat, and thank you for the $50 donation, but you're not in the game, so who would you give these points to? Uh, it is a five. It's a Lesnar, but it's okay. We got we got two more spins. Wow. Um. Where's Dave? Dave, Joseph where you Roy, at, kid? How do I become a member? I didn't realize that my membership was up. Uh, you j- just click, click the join button down by the subscribe button, or go to our channel and you can click join over there. Hunting for Dave. <coughs> Searching for Dave in the chat. Where you at, Dave? Dave, Dave, Dave. Where you in the chat? Should we let him in? All right, fuck it. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just do it. All right, it. put Dave in there. All right, fuck it, man. It's a $50 dono. Give him so, five I mean, points. Let's go. Five points All right, for Dave. Add, text. We'll uh, text. Okay, hold on a second. Let's give me a Dave g- Thomas. Take me a second here. You know, let me stop the clock for a sec. I mean, Jesus. Let's give him, I don't know. Let's give him uh, White. that color over there. Okay. Uh, um, what did I just do? Hold on a second. So his name is Dave Thomas. Yeah, Fuki. Let's let him in. Dave, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Dave Thomas. Five points. Five points. All right, that doesn't matter because he can still get himself. Right, oh, I'm him. white. Why is it white? I changed the color. Come on, Moss. I, you saw me change the color. There can't you be li- two white people. You literally saw me change the fucking color. You saw, like, I literally did it right in front of you. It's not allowed to have two white people, Moss. Well, you're a racist. I don't know what you want me to say. I'll change it again. Right here. Okay. All right, Davey boy. Oh, I know what you're doing. What am I doing wrong? You're changing you're, you're changing the um the background color, not the oh, text for fuck's color. Sake. See right there where it's white? You gotta change that what one. What is going on here? Like that? Yeah, let's just go like that. Boom. Select color. All right. There we go. All right, Dave. You're in third place, but we have two more spins for Davey Boy. Whoa, we have another oh my god, hold on, I gotta catch up. You guys are going nuts. All right, two spins. Here we go. Oh boy, he's coming on the deck. Oh, Johnny Bones Jones. <laughs> 26 plus 5 is 31 points. All right, here we go. 31 for Mr. Dave. God damn it. My keyboard. I got to get a new fucking keyboard. I yes. keep on saying that. All right, move this up here. Ah, okay. JBM Dave has Thomas. been bumped down and is mo- another spin. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god just missed dave that was close man shit that would have put him in the lead too 
All right, so Dave Thomas sounds like uh, Dave Thomas sounds like um, a fast food owner's name. Welcome like, to Hi, Dave Thomas. My name is Dave Thomas. Oh. You want to try my chicken? Why does he have to sound like that? That's very obnoxious. Hi, my name is Dave Thomas, and I make the best chicken in the land. Dave Thomas chicken. Come and come, Dave Thomas chicken. We got chicken. We got fried chicken. We got a grilled chicken. We got sponsored chicken. Dave Thomas, thank you for the donations. You I are think absolutely if I heard wonderful. That, wonderful. I would, I'd probably say as far away from, from <clears throat> fried chicken as I could. Was it fried chicken or grilled chicken? Bones are screaming you, be mean to you. If you don't like it, make it known he's not keen of you. Suffer's too cold, not done right, slap before. I'm so big, girls drove for the tool. Failed at a school? Bones is gonna scream at you, unkept fool. Bones is gonna scream at you. Netflix not renewed? Bones is gonna scream at you. KEWL is not hate school. Bones gonna scream. Room drugs in the mule. Bones is gonna scream. Ran out of fuel. Bones is gonna scream. Objection overruled? Bones is gonna scream. Bones is gonna scream. Bones is gonna scream. Twenty-five points, me. Now that should be seventy-five points. Now, Roberto, I noticed he did the seventy-five dollar donation. It is over the sixty-nine, so he gets the seventy-five points. Did not become the stream boss, but seventy-five points for the Hearns, adding to his Fugan lead. Let's go. <sighs> Whatever, Hearns. <sighs> Wow. 27 minutes left in the game and we're fired up. We're fired up. The game has gone into overdrive. Gavin Macias with the spin. I spin when I win, spin when I win, spin when I win, spin when I win. Spin when I win. Dinner tastes good, start to spin. Gas prices drop, let's spin. Perfect poop, stand up and spin. My pits don't stink, it's time to spin. Bell fell off, still spinning. Hand up, smile, spin. Spin, spin, spin. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Points, Mystic Moss. Wonderful, oh, wonderful. Get the fuck now, Jesse, out of here. Gavin put the 25 Mystic Moss and became the stream boss. I get two spins. Whatever. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go, Gavin. You and me, buddy. We're going to take the Severn. Two back to back Severns. You ready? Back to back Severns. Let's go, baby. Back to back. Belly to belly. Severance. Come on, give me Khabib. All I'll right. take that. I'll take that. I'll take a Habib time. Let's go, baby. Wow, there's a lot of players on this game. This uh, Hearn says ahead. he gets three. What? Hearn says I get three. Did you oh, miss? Oh, hold on a second. Hold so that on was a second. Hearn's spin. That will be going to Hearn's. Yes, right? Because yes. So, so he got. 29 to Hearns. How many did I give him? I gave him two? Two. Okay. Hearns, good call. All right, so that's 20. Hold on. Let's, let's fix it up. Thank you, Hearns, for the correction. 29. And it's... Oh, fucking A. Here we go. He's right. He's correct. Hearns on top of the game. 2-2-5. Two, two, oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so that, you know what, Jesse? That actually works out really good for me, Jess. No, because you're going to get zeros on your next two Actually, spins. you know what? Thank you, Hearns, for saying that because now I'm going to get two sevs. That's well, why I didn't get the seven. you think you're going to get two sevs. Here comes my two spins now. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Hearns. I'm going to collect two severs. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay. That's it's less okay. than what Hearns got. I'll take it. I'll take it. 22, the Notorious. Let's go into third place. Ole, 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 ole. Ah, come on, man. Too many players. <laughs> I saw I saw some action. I saw it seven. It was coming close. I'll take it. 21 points to the mystical. Thank you so much, Gavin. I points, apologize. JBM. 
points, JBM. Points, JBM. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, this fucking JBM. keyboard. Oh, turkey twerk. Oh, look at this, Jesse. Look JBM. at Look at this, Jesse. Take a good look. The mystical Moss in second place. That's where I belong? No, I belong in first. Help the Moss get to the first place spot. Let me defeat the Fookin' Hearns. Ah, uh, super chat. Dave Thomas. I'm here. Okay, Dave Thomas, thank you for the donation. Dave Thomas here. I'm in the chat. Thank you, Dave Thomas, and you are in the game. Dave Thomas in third place. Mystic Moss in second. The Hearns in first with 225. JBM in fourth place with the 16. The champion is in trouble. The Clam Champ in trouble. Uh, tied for the last place spot with the Glove Touch, Tropic Tom, Kendall, and Mike H. Good luck to everyone playing. 27 minutes left in the game. You want to spin $25 donation or become the stream boss. Anything 69, turkey twerking up, goes directly, directly into the pointage next turkey to the player. Turkey twerk. Ah, oh, JBM. Ah, oh, super chat. Dave Thomas. Actually, I grow shrouds and weed. Better than kicking. <laughs> there we go. Shrouds? shrouds and weed. I thought you said shrouds. shrouds I'm like, shrouds. Uh, shrooms and wow. No, shrouds and weed. But I think he meant shrooms. Maybe. Maybe he meant shrooms. What's a oh, shroud? Super oh, shit. Shroud. Oh, I hear Dave Thomas back in the game. Actually, I grow shrooms and weed. Shrooms and weed. But like chicken. That's what he meant. <laughs> shrooms and weed. Ah, yes. Thank you, Dave, man. Thank you, guys. How? Wow. You guys are freaking awesome. Round of applause for the chat. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the game is kicked up. 27 minutes left. The Hearns in first with the 225. Who's going to win, Jess? What do you say? Me? Of course, because I'm going to get the turkey twerk. Okay. So now with that new rule put in place, shit's about to go down, Jess. Mm -hmm. Shit's about to go down. Oh, because 69 and over. Oh, my. Chat. Dave Thomas coming in again. More spins. Dave Thomas here with more spins. Wow. Two more for the Dave. Two more spins for the Dave. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Jess, it's not helping you. Oh, don't worry, Moss. I'm going to make it to the top. This is what I do. Oof. 21. Severin's close, though. It's getting close. It's going to be hit tonight. I know it. 57 points, Moss, for Dave Thomas. All right, David. We got one more spin for you, it's bud. It's not David. It's Dave. 57, right? 57. All right, Dave. Thank you for the donation. You have bypassed the mystical. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay. It's going to be fine. Let's give him another spin. Let's go, baby. Wow. On fire. Ooh, <laughs> oh, whoa, almost got gone, but got the 22. That's, that's helpful right almost there. Almost got gone. All right. So, Dave Thomas, thank you, everyone. Thank you for the donations as we add the pointage over here on the Fuka Friday. 79 for Dave. What a game. Damn, he fired up. Oh, shit. I'm Whoa. on the wrong one. Dave Thomas. Queen Bodica. Queen Bodica. What kind of name is that? We, we talked Queen about that already. Queen Bodica. Oh, we did? Yeah, we did a whole bit on it. It was like oh. some cartoon character. Was I here for it? Yep. You were here. It was an animated oh. cartoon character, remember? I don't remember. We did a whole thing on it. Oh. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, let's shake that off. So 27 minutes left in the game, and here's your scorecard over here. We're going to jump back into the news. We were, we had Jesse's thoughts on Kobe Covington, Hamza Chemaev, and then the game went out of control. It just spun in all different directions. So we'll see how this thing ends. Good luck to everyone playing. I think the Mystical's going to get it, though. I think there's going to be a bomb coming in. I win the game. We go crazy. I take my pants off, you know? Uh -huh. We go nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Colby, so you say, well, let me get this clear here. Let me get this straight. You said Gilbert Burns gives Hamza a problem, but Colby Covington, who has thrown his name in the hat uh -huh. to smack up Hamza, mm -hmm. gets run over. Yes, sir. What would you think about Colby Covington versus Hamza? Which, uh, by the way, that, that thought process still I can't wrap my head around, but that's why you're here. You, someone probably agrees with you. I I, one in the chat if you agree with that. Everyone agrees with me, Moss. There's no one that agrees with that. 100%. But, but maybe. Maybe one person does. Uh, what do you think about Ultimate Fighter? Colby yeah. 
versus Hamzat. Ultimate fight. Now that is interesting to me. Um, here's the thing, though. Usually, like when Colby's the most fun to listen to is when he has a little bit of a feud with people. He didn't. He doesn't really have any kind of grounds for a feud with Hamzat. Like it's not like Hamzat really has ever done or said anything to him. So it kind of wouldn't wouldn't make sense for Colby just to like start going after him for no reason. But it still would be it still would be fun to watch because Colby Covington is always fun to watch. Um. Yeah. I, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm down with it. Would you rather Colby Hamzat than Gilbert Burns? And Colby. I mean, not Gil. I mean, uh, Gilbert Burns. I can't get the. Why, why is he? Uh, Masvidal and Covington. For Ultimate Fighter? Yes. Over Hamzat Covington? What would you rather? What combination would you rather? Can it be. Does it have to be just those three or can it be. We want like. Any middle. Any. Um, all right, give me ultimate. who you would rather over the, either of those. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. Like, who's. Obviously, Colby Covington would be the guy because he's fun t- to watch and listen to. Uh huh. But who's the other guy? He, and here's the reason why I don't want George and Covington on Ultimate Fighter. Because we all know Jorge's losing. Like, I mean, it's it's just like we all know the well, inevitable. Like, we all know. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's not even a question. Yeah, it's a little silly. And honestly, I think that, that feud was kind of stemmed for publicity. So it kind of just it, it doesn't have that, like, factor. That it factor, I guess. But I, I really do like the Hamzat idea. It's not a bad idea. Think about it. Like it's But Hobbs the way he talks shit, like it's not Liz, really I smash her. And Colby's just going Colby's gonna sell it right Yeah, regardless. I feel like Hamza could have like smart shit to say. Yeah. Yeah. He's just gonna yeah, be saying he's gonna smash him, he's sure. gonna eat him, he's gonna do this and that, and Colby's just gonna run on with his a gimmick. I think Colby, no matter what, is gonna is do do well on the ultimate fighter. He's a good trash talker. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a horrible day horrible I can't speak today, Moss. I don't know what's going on. It's the it's the Fuka Friday points game. Maybe. What do you guys think in the chat? What would be a uh, good coaching combination for the Ultimate Fighter. What would be something that you would prefer? I like Colby Hamzat. It kind of just flew into the mix, and I love it. I think it's great, man. Mm-hmm. I think there'd be a lot of buzz. I think Colby would would definitely do his part. Hamzat would be interesting over here. I think the fight's interesting. Let's go, baby. But let's see what you guys think in the chat. I'm curious. Uh, <clears throat> Masvidal isn't injured. It's already done with Masvidal, says Joseph Roy. He is injured. What was he talking about? I don't know. He said he was not injured. Apparently he is. Colby Masvidal is a no-brainer, says Bout Better. Gavin says it's a 300-pound deadlift good for a 17-year-old. I guess it depends on how big the 17-year-old is and how, I guess, mature your body is. I don't know. Uh, Aldo versus McGregor as coaches again, says Austin Brown. <laughs> they dragged those two back. That would be interesting. Well, it wasn't Aldo and McGregor, though. It was McGregor, it was McGregor and, and uh, Faber. Faber, yeah. Chloe dates nothing but Latin girls. Racist. Uh, John Jones versus Hard Drugs says Pulse. Brandon Lewis says, does it have to be 170 coaches for tough? No, give me whatever combo you'd like. Okay, so we can do any division? I mean, you're the one that brought that up into the mix, Izzy so go for it. And... Is he? Yeah, at middleweight. His trash talk is legit trash, though. His his fighting is fantastic. His trash talk but is just a rough listen. But he's pretty fun to watch because he is a sensitive dude. So, like, oh, he, he would be easy to get to I would not on who see his it. opponent so would So, who be. the hell would you want to size him up against? He beat everyone in middleweight. Yeah, you got to have someone who can talk magic. Blonde Brunson? Who's the guy that's coming up in middleweight right now? Hamza Chimaev? No. <laughs> no. Well, it's a couple of guys. Yeah, what's There's that guy's a, name? That Russian. That Russian. But that guy's not close to him yet. Who? The the Russian dude uh, that fought recently. I can't remember his name. Makachev? Help me out. No, not Makachev. He's 155. It's like, is it? Oh, it's got like two like first names. What the hell's the Russian that just fought in middleweight? Anyway, he's not ready for Izzy anyway. So like, there's no one to fight Izzy. So like, what the hell? Robert Whitaker, would you the rematch? That's stupid. No. Yeah, that is stupid. So, so get Izzy out of here. There's no one else. Left. Who would be his? A uh, can you go to the um? Po, yeah, you ready for this? Jan versus Sterling. I like it. I like it for be a couple cringe. reasons. At that uh, press conference, Sterling was so forceful with the um, shit talk that. But Sterling needs a translator. I mean, uh, Jan needs a translator. So that's a problem. It's pre-recorded. 
They could make it look fun and interesting. What are they going to do? Fucking uh, have a translator next to him the whole time? Yes. Read off things that uh, Aljo said and then work. have him respond. If, if and, Jan, and on Tough, they have the subtitles for when they're speaking. So If Jan spoke fucking English, it would work. How about... <laughs> he doesn't speak English. How about Charles Oliveira... Oh, God, don't say it. Versus Poirier? And that's, Poirier. That's happening already. That's, that's happening. And Not honestly, tough. I wouldn't... Dustin Poirier has the personality of a fucking wet mop. Of a fart. Yeah, so why would you want to put the person that has, like, All that... right, Oliveira and um, run back Chandler. Or Connor Chandler. Are you just are you just scraping the bottom of the barrel trying Connor to... Chandler. Connor versus Chandler? On tough. Tough coaches. Uh... That's fun. Chandler can talk shit, and you know Connor's always... In yeah, Connor, Connor was interesting when he was with Faber. I mean, that was fun. Had the sweaty pits. Wouldn't get in the corner. Was yelling and screaming for Artem. Connor uh, Chandler is a good time. I'd of, rather uh, Connor season. I'd rather Connor Diaz. Connor Ferguson. I'd rather. But that Michael Chandler's. You, he's now just, you're, you're picking for like so Michael Chandler entertainment fights. He's not really looking for. A fight I'm talking that about makes tough. Yeah. tough. I'm talking about tough. Yeah, on tough Chandler Connor, I think would be the best. The best match. No, because Chandler's him. been licking Connor's ass. So I think what would happen... Chandler lick, licks everyone's ass, but that yeah, doesn't why mean do that Connor's no, we, not going to still say things about him. You're telling me Diaz McGregor would be worse than Chandler Connor? No, I never said that. So I, I never even implied that. So which one... I do think Diaz McGregor would be a good match. For tough. For tough. So which is... If you're picking Connor, if you're dragging him in there, you're, you're picking Michael Chandler over all those... Just no, tough. No, I'm not picking him over. I'm just saying Chandler Connor makes more sense... It does make a little more sense. All right, but if you're dragging Connor in, who's the guy? But if you're looking for entertainment value, of course, Diaz McGregor would probably be the the fight. Yeah, Diaz McGregor. And kind of like, ah, shoot your fucking mouth. And, and Diaz McGregor. Those are water bottles at each other and stuff. Well, that's probably not going to happen, but yeah. it would be interesting. Okay, what else? Happen. What else did you throw in here? Let's see what the chat says. Okay. Negative robo dude can't spell. Breen says Chandler has never said something charming, witty, funny, or memorable. Uh, Real Gamer says Diaz all day. Queen says I would love to see Nate Connor. Two Joint says LOL drunk savage. <laughs> uh, Gatesy versus oh, Connor on top. So hey, Dave Thomas here. Fook me. I never win. We're drunk savage. He's in the chat. Fook me. I, yeah, he's in the chat, Davey. You never win. Yeah, you were close to Severin, man. You were very close. Dave Thomas sitting in second place. A couple of Severins out of the mix. But thank you, Dave, for those donations, man. Yeah, we got Savage in the chat. Savage, uh, put your hand up in the chat. Cormier versus the Golden Corral Buffet. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't start the fucking clock. That's why I'm like, why is it not moving? Oh, my God. Yeah, let me put the... I'm like, what? We're the? supposed to end at 1030. All right. So... so oh, so we're close to it. 20 minutes, not 20 20 minutes? Okay. Shit. I'm like, why is the clock not moving? All right. All right. Not too... Seven minutes off. All right, there we go. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm like, what are we, frozen in time? Don't you know I'm human too? Uh, Hearns will dono for Dave so that she can win, says Breen, so that she can win? Dave is a she? Uh, I would say he's, he's, a, he's a man. I would say, I would think. Uh, Dave would have been on top if he hit the seven, says Carl Grace. Yeah, he, he's close. Moss versus a tray of stuffing. Hey, bro, I can't. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I would, that stuffing is so lopsided. That fight. Uh, hell nah, I'm winning. Says Hearns. <laughs> wow, that's some confidence. <sighs> that's some. That's some confidence from the Hearns. Uh, Jesse, you look so happy tossing the stuffing and smelling your gloves yesterday. You know why? Because my smell is all fucked up. So the whole time I was cooking yesterday, I was literally smelling everything. Trying to see what I could smell and what smelled like dead animal. Yeah, I was, I was talking because of Diego Sanchez. Would you see his COVID situation? And I was saying how you, you, it's like you're getting hit from all angles with this freaking Rona shit. Now you can't smell certain things or it smells like shit. Is yeah. it getting better, that smell thing? No. Tonight, my turkey smelled and tasted like a dead animal. <laughs> well, it is a dead it's kind of weird that you say that because it is a dead animal. You know, yeah, I was telling your mom, vegetables, fruits, they're all fine. I can smell them. I can taste them. No problem. But for some reason, meat okay. and eggs smells and tastes, and I'm not even joking, not how it's supposed to smell and taste. It like, would be it, genuinely like roadkill. It'd be a rotten animal, not yeah. a dead animal. Rotten, rotten. There we go. A rotten, like rotten meat. Because if you say turkey tastes like a dead animal, it's horrible. it is a dead animal. 
rotten animal. <laughs> just, just trying to help out. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Justin Gaethje, what's this about? Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Let me pull that up for you, Moss. Just give me. Bear with me for a quick, a brief moment. All right. So according to MMA Fighting, Justin, maybe you got bit by a tick that makes you hate meat. What about that? You know what? I I think that's what happened. A meat hating tick. I think that's what happened. Justin Gaethje says not even Daniel Cormier can challenge my title shot claim and is happy to defend his belt against Islam Makachev. Justin Gaethje knows he's the most deserving person for a shot at the UFC lightweight title no matter what Daniel Cormier or Habib Nurmagomedov have to say otherwise. Just a week prior to his epic war with Michael Chandler at UFC 268, Gaethje got into a war of wars with Cormier after he worked as a commentator during Makachev's win over Dan Hooker. Following Makachev's first round submission win, Cormier asked the Russian if he felt like the performance was enough to leapfrog over Gaethje as the number one contender in the division. None of that sat too well with Gaethje, but he made it clear that there was no personal grudge. He just didn't like the way Cormier seemed to show favoritism towards Makachev, who also happened to be his friend and teammate at American Kickboxing Academy. He said, it's got me in trouble many times in my life, but I consider myself a straight shooter. When I see something, I speak to it. When I saw that happen that night, I said what I thought and I was unhappy. If DC was in my shoes and someone was trying to pass him up, take money off his table, take food away from his family, he would have said the same thing. Following Gaethje's jaw-dropping win over Chandler, that earned him a six-fight of the night bonus in the UFC, Cormier conceded that he deserved the next title shot and Makachev would likely have to compete again before earning his own opportunity at lightweight gold. Of course, Gaethje appreciated the recognition because he knew there was no way he could be denied after beating another top contender in Chandler. While Cormier was happy to name Gaethje as the number one contender at lightweight, former champ Khabib Nurmagomedov also commented on the subject as he pushed for his fighter in Makachev to get the title shot after he earned a ninth straight win in uh, with the submission against Hooker. Gaethje countered by pointing out his ridiculous resume since joining the UFC where he's faced a killer's row of competition, including four fights against former champions, while building a 5-1 to one resume over his past six appearances. Rather than dissecting Makachev's record compared to his own, Gaethje has an alternative idea when it comes to the lightweight title picture. Gaethje fully anticipates that he'll face the winner of the UFC 269 main event between Charles Oliveira and Dustin Poirier, and then he has no problem giving Makachev his opportunity at becoming champion. In typical Gaethje fashion, he just hopes Makachev is ready for what will happen once they do battle in the cage together. Okay, so Justin Gaethje, he's been very uh, verbal in his uh, approach lately, and he it looks like he's a... Uh, Willing to defend against Makachev. What do you think? Um, well, not right now, though. He's saying Makachev doesn't deserve to just shoot up to the top. Well, yeah. Gaethje is going to be the number one contender, and the, but he's willing to give Makachev his chance when that time comes, is basically what he's saying. Yes. That's that, yeah, I understand that. I yeah. totally understand that. Well, but, I didn't know if you interpreted it as like Gaethje wanted to give well, his mean, chance right away. In order for Gaethje to get the belt, yeah. and he's first. So yeah. that makes sense. I, I, get I like it. it, though. I like Gaethje Makachev. It's a good fight. What do you think about long, long star tick bites? What? Apparently, long star tick bites make meat taste bad. What is a long star tick bite? Think about that. That could be the problem. You might have got bit by a tick. Think so? Long star. I don't know about this, guys. Tick. Because there are ticks here. Tick disease. Lone star? Oh, maybe lone star. He's saying long star. Yeah, Alpha lone gal star. syndrome. Okay. It's a recently identified type of food allergy to red meat and other products made from mammals. In the United States, this condition is most often caused by a lone star tick bite. The bite transmits a sugar molecule called alpha-gal into the person's body. You could have gotten bit. So, a tick gave me a food allergy? It's, it's not, in some people, know. this triggers an immune system reaction that later produces mild to severe allergic reactions to red meat, such as beef, pork, or lamb. Is it just meat? Or other ma um, no, like cranberry juice has a weird taste to it. The Lone Star Tick is found predominantly in the southeastern... T check your ears? Okay. ...United States. Like a dog, right? Seriously, what? check my ears. Do I have ticks? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and That's pretty wild. Cases of oh, but it's southeastern U.S. So like uh, Florida. Yeah. It's, it's Wait, those, let me see. The swampy. This states. condition appears to be spreading farther north and west. <gasps> what? However, as deer carry the lone star tick to new parts of the United States, alpha gal syndrome has also been diagnosed in Europe. Blah blah blah. It only um, happens to gals too, apparently. Let's see. Alpha males, it doesn't happen to. Researchers now believe that some people who have frequent unexplained anaphylactic reactions and who test negative for other food allergies may be affected by alpha gal syndrome. 
There's no treatment other than avoiding red meat and other products made from mammals. So become a vegetarian. Oh, my God. So if you get bit by this thing, there's there's no way around it. You have to just, you just become a veggie. Become a vegetarian or eat That's horrible terrible. food. So no more McDonald's. I guess. You think that a tick got on the plane? Maybe. You, you know, know, we did find a tick in Ellie's stroller. So they're out. We have to get checked for this. Alpha, alpha gal instead of alpha male. All right. Look at that. Oh, that'd be nuts. I, I doubt that's what it is, but that's actually pretty interesting. All right, back to the news. What do we got over here, Could Matt you Brown? Imagine that's what freaking happened. You never know. Is that permanent? But that's what they said. Yeah. Or is it? Can you recover it's permanent. from that? That's it. No more meat. No more. No more hog. Hmm. Okay. Matt Brown announces positive COVID nineteen results. Exit from UFC on ESPN thirty one card. Yeah, so according to SureDog, Matt Brown won't be fighting at UFC on ESPN 31 as originally planned. The Immortal announced on Tuesday via social media that he has tested positive for COVID-19, forcing him to withdraw from a proposed matchup with Brian Barbarena on December f- on the December 4th card. It's currently unknown if Barbarena will remain on the card. Um, he said, shitty day today. I tested positive for COVID, so my fight next week is off. I was sick as fuck over the weekend, but feel better for the most part now. Lost smell today. Did a jog outside today and lungs burned some. I thought maybe it was just a cold air, but maybe I'm still sick. Well, you got to okay. log into SureDog just to see a story? No, you can X out of that. Nope. Yeah, I don't need... Where's the X? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Moss, oh, weird. sure, dog. No one, no one goes to your website anyway, so I'm um, not going to log in. I mean, what is going on here? So, yeah, he's just not. He's not feeling good, man. This COVID shit. Did you guys hear there's a new strain? Well, he's immortal, so he's not going to die at least. There's a new freaking COVID strain out there. Yeah, we spoke about it briefly. Ugh. I'm kind of I'm kind of done with the COVID shit. It scares the crap out of me. Kind of done with it. Kind of over it. So you got Diego Sanchez like this. You got Matt this Brown. This poor freaking guy, man. Okay, you got people getting nailed left and right. But you know what? Let's just fucking... Ig- just move, move forward our lives. That's it. We're not, we're not gonna bend over to some. We're not, we ain't gonna bend over to some flu, some common flu. We ain't going. We ain't gonna go down to no flu. All right. Anyway, could uh, you imagine I got bit by a tick, and ha- now I'm permanently cannot taste meat? Yeah, but the t- the tick had a mask on, so you'd be fine. Seriously. Um. Anyway, it's not ten impossible. minutes remaining in the game. We have blasted through the news. Tomorrow we're gonna react to Triller. Triller Fight Club, the Triad. Is that what's called? The Triad? The Triad. The Triad. Metallica will be performing. We'll be doing a reaction on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Notification bell. Pants off. But here, with 10 minutes remaining, the Hearns looking to regain his title. Will someone else get the job done? Gavin Macias, only 28 points away from being dethroned as the stream boss. The beauty of the new points game is you literally can swoop in at the end, drop a bomb, win the game. It's that simple. So a $69 donation and up, those points automatically go into a specific player's spot. So the Hearns at 225 took advantage of that earlier in the stream, has a 225 with the points. If you want to spin the wheel, it's a $25 donation, or you can become the stream boss, or both. And you get some spins. So good luck to everyone playing. Mystical Moss would like to get something. JBM, would you like to say, uh, pr- uh, you know, plead your case? Uh, I don't need to because I'm JBM and I'm going to win anyways. Motherfuckers, drop that turkey twerk. <laughs> and you have not won yet this version of the game, correct? Uh, oh, this version. Yeah. yeah. I have won before, but yeah, I have not won not this, this version. version. I am a champ of this version. Oh, Only fuck your a version. A limited champ, but I, I'm a champ. And and. Aunt Anne was the first ever turkey twerk champ. So if if a plethora of turkey twerks comes in, you'll be the next turkey twerk champ. But this this champ, if Roberto stays the same, mm-hmm. he will be just a clean champ mm-hmm. of the Fuka Friday points game. Wonderful, wonderful. Moss, you sound surprisingly calm, suggesting that Jess maybe can have no more hog. I am going to... She's going to have to go... I can have no more hog? She might have to uh, go vegan peen. Oh, no. Yeah. Vegan peen. Dang it. They have vegan peen. They have everything. They have... Today we ordered eggs for my mom. And it smelled and tasted like death. And she was lactose intolerant. That's not the point I was trying. She uh, was lactose intolerant. And the, the place that made the eggs made sure 
No butter or anything could harm my mom. They even put it in a separate bag. This is the, this is the world we live in now. You know, like back in the day, if you had some sort of intolerance, you're screwed. You're, 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 now you call up yeah. these places, they'll separate the shit, and you're good to go. Yeah. So she'll have vegan hog. True. Very true. She'll have eggplant. That's right, little D. The eggplant. All right, so the stories are done. Trillers be start time, the triad situation. According to this, it says 8, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, what do you think about this generic white guy? This honky on the, uh, what is this? Um, is this, what is this? This is like an Assassin's Creed freaking poster. Like what kind of bullshit is this? It's a good question, Moss. It's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. I kind of like it. I think it's stupid to be honest. I think it's, I think it's legit <laughs> You're dumb. just jealous you didn't come up with it on and your he, own. He, no, that's fucking stupid. And here's the, here's their actual poster for Mir and, uh, Pulev. As the Fuqua Friday thumbnail scrolls across the screen. screen. But, um, yeah, look at this. That's the poster, right? It's kind of a shit. They just mail it in. You would think they're putting mo- they're getting Metallica to play, for God's sakes. You couldn't put a couple extra bucks mm. and slap some more things together. The initial poster, the Assassin Creed. Like, what is this? Oh, I, let me buy this pay-per-view Im- immediately. Yes. <laughs> like, what is this shit? Anyway, what would you like to discuss, Jesse, as we've um, flown through the topics? Well, let's ask everyone how their Thanksgiving went. We only have six minutes left. It's Fuga Friday, and we need to show our interest in their lives as well, Moss. Okay. So how was your guys' Thanksgiving? Did you guys have a big meal or a small meal? Did you hang out with family, friends, or by yourself? Did you have drinks? Did you not have drinks? What was your highlight of Thanksgiving? Let me know right now, guys. How was your Thanksgiving? If you want to know how ours was, it was Ellie's first, and I think she had a great time. I think she had a really good time. And she got to hang out with both grandparents uh, for the first time this year. Yes, Brandon, we opened the card on air, the Sean O'Malley card, and that was absolutely wonderful one. We have it downstairs. we got to bring it back into the studio showing the fam. Sean O'Malley signed card. Shout out to Brandon, baby. Brandon Lewis yes. for the wonderful, wonderful card. That was cool. Uh, Paul says it was gooder than a bish. Yoda says, LOLs, I starved, nothing was open, says KC. Jay's, uh, Jamie Swin says, I got laid. Roberto Hernandez is in Mexico with my family. Nice. You know what's funny? Uh, someone on Facebook, a friend of mine, said, hey, who's going out to the club tonight? And it just it brought back flashbacks. Thanksgiving Eve, believe it or not, mm-hmm. was a massive party night. Really? Yeah. I didn't thanks, know that. You would hit the club Thanksgiving Eve. That's like it was a nut, Like everyone would be like, yo, it's Thanksgiving Eve. Let's go. And you'd be like the club. And would be like, yo, Thanksgiving Eve. Let's go. You know, and, and I didn't know Thanksgiving Eve was a thing. Yeah, it was crazy. Mm. And then someone, it got depressing because I saw it on Facebook and yeah. our friend Spigs threw it up there. And I was like, Weird. wow, that's so far from what I do now. Now it's like, Thanksgiving Eve, stay home with the family. Sounds miserable. Thanksgiving Eve. Anyone? One's in the chat. You ever go with Thanksgiving Eve party? And I mean, what? Miserable. That was that great. That sounds miserable. The next day you paid for it. That sounds miserable. You did pay for it, but. I am so glad that I didn't ever celebrate Thanksgiving Eve. Oh, come on, man. What are you talking about? Three minutes left in the game. That's it. And we're done, so. Wonderful, wonderful. Tropic Tom. I had a Boston Market Turkey TV dinner for Thanksgiving, but it could have been worse. Yeah. I could have had Swanson's. Well, that's one way to look at it, Tropic Tom. <laughs> hey, don't I don't sleep on Boston Market. Actually, Boston Market is really good. <laughs> I would if if I was you know laying low on Thanksgiving, Boston Market would be the go. It's not even a question. I don't even wait. There's no Boston Market around here though. In New York, there's um, Boston Markets all over the place. But I'd be all about that. They got some banging stuff. No, there's Boston Markets here. 
the meatloaf carvers is to die for. All right. Three minutes left in the game, Jess. You gonna, are we going to get the dub, or is Roberto going to run away with this thing? Who is going to win the fucking game? Uh, me. We need some help here. We all know how to play this game already. We don't have to explain the rules. With three minutes left, is the Hearns going to run away with the Fuka Friday championship belt? Two minutes and 47 seconds. Gavin Macias, 24 hit points away from getting dethroned. Who's going to win? Uh, I work in bars and restaurants most of my life. Seeing a lot of crazy shit on Thanksgiving Eve. See, see, Uncle Glazarian knows what's up. If you don't know what it, Thanksgiving Eve is about, you may want to believe in reincarnation and successfully enjoying this in your next life. It's fun. Mm. Thanksgiving Eve is a fun night to go out and also Halloween evening. Halloween night is a great night to go out as well. Well, I have heard that, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a fantastic night because that is a night for the ugly people. Yeah, I right? can cover yourself up in makeup. If you don't make out Halloween, like if you if you go out Halloween night and you can't make out, then you clearly either have B.O. or I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Because, you, I mean, everyone's in costumes. Everyone looks like a mess. You know, you got the trampy girls running around, but you literally can find a way to use wit and charm to get a nice young lady. That looks like a lemon. Roberto wants to know what a turkey twerk is, Jesse. Yeah. Would you like to tell Roberto what the turkey twerk um, is? Um, Roberto, scroll down into the donation list and see for yourself, my friend. <laughs> for 69 Scott Oles, you get to hear Jesse Moan. Wonderful, wonderful. Pulse Reloaded. Today my weed dealer had a liquidation. I got some Girl Scout cookies, some train wreck, and some Gorilla Glue butter. It was a Black Friday doorbuster. Two bags for the price of one. <laughs> also, do you guys know the real story of Pocahontas? No. I do not. Tell us. Black Friday. Anyone go out? I mean, this is Black Friday, for God's sakes. Black Friday. Okay, uh, let's down. be real, though. How do ticks, do ticks like jump on you? Is that how they get on you or what? Ticks, we'll talk about it after the show. There's 45 seconds left. The game's about to end. And we'll get into ticks. Who will be the winner? It looks like the Hearns may just run away with this thing as he has the 225 and the donations. Will someone creep in and be a last second hero? Or will Hearns take the strap? Thank you to all the donations. But I need some help. Jesse needs some help. Glove Touch, Tropic, Tom, Candle, Mike H, no points. And, and, the knitter will lose her belt. Now we got 13 seconds left. I am on the edge of my seat. Four, three, two. No turkey twerks tonight. But we got the Hearns back in the mix. Back as the champion. Back on Fuku Friday. Roberto! You are the champ! Beyond Black Friday! You got the deal of the day! I don't know what that means. Roberto, you're the king of the show again! And take your dick out in helicopter, my friend! Hearns is the name of the man who won! And defeated and and the turkey chain! Friend. 
And Jesse is looking up tick bites as we speak. I don't understand how to get on you. <laughs> Jesse's looking up tick bites. Roberto Hernandez, congratulations. You took out the turkey twerk champ, and you are now the king. Gavin Macias, you still stay the stream boss. So that's pretty wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. But congratulations, Hearns, and welcome back. Thank you for the generosity. And thank you to everyone who dropped a donation tonight. Seriously, appreciate the support from the community. You guys killed it. And if you haven't done so, hit that Fugan like button. Let's go. We had a little fun on a Black Friday or Black Friday. Uh, JBM was here. And the only reason why Jesse was here for a, a more show was thank you to the grandparents. The grandparents came yes. in and helped out so congratulations to us for being together does it feel good yes it does it does it does yes! round of applause for the grandparents in the chat we must wrap this up tomorrow triller this channel hit the notification bell we're going to be doing some cringe boxing reaction it's on fight tv so if you want to watch it there's a link in the description to that and uh sign up through with our promo code. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Jess? Yes? Will you find the tick that is responsible for your meat problem? I don't know. I'm all nervous now, Moss. I gotta be honest. Thank you so much to our sponsors. My bookie, mysticrootscbd.com. ESPN Plus. I'm pretty sure that's it, right, Moss? Help me out here. Head rush. MMA holes. MMA H-O-L-E-S is the promo code for all of your discounts on all your favorite products. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be live again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Or no? I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Are we live again tomorrow? Jesse. I'm distracted by ticks. You were looking up ticks and you know, and it's literally right in front of your face, we are reacting to this. Oh, yes. We will be reacting live tomorrow, so make sure you tune in, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and as always, my friends and dear family, don't be an a-hole, be an M-M-A-hole. Uh-oh, wonderful, wonderful. interruption. I saw T. Wood protesting outside Walmart because he thought Black Friday was racist. Oh my God, is that true? Yes. Stop it. Is that true? Yes. That's not true. Yeah, it's actually true. That's true? I can confirm that. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're fucking around. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Don't be an A-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole.